All right, man, what's up? We're back and uh, round number two. This is our first first half of our podcast got fucked up. Round two. For, well, not the first half, for first five minutes. So now we have, to yeah. talk about, we have to talk about all the stuff that we already talked about. So let me see your beard, Nick. How's your beard look? It's grown in nicely. <laughs> Very lined properly. Are you going to let it grow till it's like hanging like mine? Like, or is, are you just going to try and keep I'm, it? I'm going to literally just let it grow into the show, man. <clears throat> I don't believe you. And I'm going to, and I'm, well, I'm going to shave it before the show, 100%. But I'm going to let before it go. Before the show, yeah. I'm going to let it go pretty much before I get like my last haircut before the show. And then um, if I like it, how it looks, how long it gets, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. What are you eating? Um, rice, turkey. And almond butter. Ground turkey? Yeah. Is almond butter on top of the turkey and rice? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Is that good? That's in prep, yeah. It's amazing. In prep though. That's what I'm saying. Like in the off season, would you eat that? Oh no, I still do this in off season though. Like I put I got cinnamon on there too. Cinnamon, almond ground butter. Cinnamon. Ground cinnamon, almond butter, There's turkey, and some stuff. That's interesting. I've never tried that. It's really good. Two squirts. Two... If you want to try what I actually would tell you to do, just so you get used to it, as you separate whatever meat you have. Yeah. And then do just the rice and the almond butter mixed together. It's fuck, it's really good. Yeah, that I could see being good. But with the turkey, I'm like, eh, I don't know. What I used to do is um, I would separate it, but I would have like my almond butter, my rice, and I'd have a banana chopped up in there. With my cinnamon and pink salt, that's delicious. Yeah, but the turkey, I don't get it. I, I separated it. I separated it. So what, you eat the turkey first and then you eat the, the rest later after that? I would eat my turkey on another plate. Yeah, yeah. And I would have, and then eat that, you know. Huh. Yeah, I could do that. I couldn't do them together, though. But now you're doing them together. Yeah, because I'm too lazy. I don't feel like separating now. How is it that guy was on here on time or late? And then we have to restart, and now he's late again, even though he was already here. He's doing it on purpose. He's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally sitting by the computer, probably just like, eh, eh. He's like, yeah, that's exactly, he's just for sure. He's like, oh, he's I got to like, you know be. What? Okay, I'll come on now. I got to be late because it's funny. Yep. Anyway. Um, so, is bless you and Blessing are going back and forth, eh? A little bit. You talking some shit? A little bit. Is is anybody else getting involved in the shit talk? I heard, uh, I saw that uh, Muhammad, what's his name? Muhammad Mustafa or Hassan Muhammad? What's his name? I'm so Hassan? bad at that. Hassan, yeah. Hassan, yeah. He, he's he's it, doing it now. Yeah. One second, I don't want to disrespect him. What's is Hassan Mustafa, right? I, yeah. I gotta find out. This is not good. I know. I know his first name is Hassan. I don't know. How, I don't know. His yeah, name. it's Hassan Mustafa. I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize, Hassan. I should have known that. Um. What do you think about him? He's fucking got tons of muscle. Um, I, I, I excuse me. I personally like Hassan. Um, I think he's huge. I think his quads are huge. Um, but if he's not conditioned, I think I could beat him. Yeah, you know what? Through me, I think that of all the shows recently he's done, besides like that one, I don't remember which one, but his conditioning was off. Yeah, the, the, the New York, the New York, he was a little bit off. But this is what I'll um, this is what I'll say about Hassan that struck me. He's more muscular than everybody else. No 100%. offense. No offense. Yeah, he's the, he'll be the biggest one. No offense, Nick. He's got more muscle on his frame than oh, any. No, no, yeah. I, I know he'll be. But that's what I'm saying. If he lacks but, the conditioning compartment, wait, wait a second. I think I could take that. No, no. Let me finish for a second. So. New York, what I noticed was he's got the most muscle on his frame of anybody up there, but his frame is not that big. No. So it was I like, see what you're saying. Like he seems like a little bit compact, even though he's got he's more got narrow clavicles, wider yeah. waist. Like when he hit his yeah. front last spread, it's, he doesn't look like wide. Yeah. Like I noticed, like, okay, for example, if you took, if you stood him next to Justin Rodriguez, since they're competing again next to each other or in New York. Justin Rodriguez does not have as much muscle as Hassan Mustafa, but yeah. just but Justin Rodriguez is like twice as wide. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I wonder if Hassan is absolutely shredded, if he can overcome the the side like the fact that his frame is not 
as big as some of the other guys. I think he could. He just – we don't know because he's just never nailed it yet. I want to show people who Hassan Mustafa is if they're watching and they don't know who he is just because he's so impressive. So this is Hassan Mustafa. You can see he's like just muscle. Yeah, big motherfucker, him. M muscle yeah. on, on top of muscle, man. So I just want to show people his legs. And he might be nutty. one of the like humblest, nicest, quietest guy I've ever met. Yeah, I heard he's one of the nicest guys in the league. Look at those fucking legs, man. Just yeah, like, he seems really cool. Um, this is obviously a little bit into the off season, or or actually probably just starting his diet. But that's just phenom nice. phenomenal, man. But it's. <coughs> It's deceiving, though, because you see this guy and you're like, he's going to crush everyone. But then it's like the stature of him is not as big as everybody else, even though what he's did, What did he place at New York? I think he was fourth. This is him in New York. I, yeah. think, I think he was fourth because it went uh, Ian, Justin. Who's third? Me and Justin, and then, um, fuck, I covered that show, too. My memory's shot. Yeah, oh, I John, I think John De La Rosa was third. Was it De La Rosa? Yeah, I, th I think John was third, and then Hassan was fourth, I think, and then might have been... Max. Might have been Max was fifth. Yeah, I think Max was fifth. So, I mean, he looks phenomenal. You can see him here. I mean, I'll blow it up a bit. He's obviously not in like 100% condition. He's in pretty good condition. You can see he looks like he's just holding a film of water there. But it's like, he's, look at the, you see the quads from the back for fuck's sakes. It's like, he's, he's really well put together. You see mine too. Just to show he was sick. Yeah, that's what no. I think. Isn't it Chris? He did another one, I believe. Oh, wasn't it California? I think before this or something like that, he was sick. No, because that was, he after he got sick and he went to the hospital, he didn't compete again. I don't think it was New uh, York. I think it was the other one. Yeah, I don't know, man, but that, that's a really impressive physique. But if I could find a lineup photo, I could uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. But anyway, we'll have to cover that. I just, uh, it's going to be an interesting show because Hassan now is in the mix. Uh, I keep hearing rumors of Roly. Is that true or is it bullshit? I'm waiting for it. He's got to do something to qualify. Yeah. You think you can beat Roly, Nick? No. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. Oh, yeah. Wow! This is a bro chat first. Holy shit! Fucking hell! Just you didn't let me finish. Pig let me finish. Hell throws over. Pigs I'm are out. flying. Shit is happening. Okay, wait. Let him finish. Let him finish. <laughs> if it's like a hundred percent rolling, no. But if he looks how he looked that he did at the latest uh, Olympia, he did with them soggy ass glutes, then yeah, I think I could. Well, when you say can you beat somebody, you always assume they're going to be their best. Listen, if Michael Jordan broke his leg, I could beat him on a one-on-one -on -one game. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I was just trying to throw out an analogy, and I knew that was me. But could you, though? Seriously, could you beat Michael Jordan if you had a broken leg? I don't think so. He would just stand under the net and swat away the ball every time he fucking... Who's, wait, whoa, whoa. Who said I would fucking have to drive to the hoop? I'll just make it rain, bro. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Huh. I wonder. Yeah, but this is the thing. You have to sink them all because he's just going to rebound and then he's going to hobble out and sink it for sure. So it's going to be whoever can sink the most first. Yeah, but if you have to say you're you're saying he's faster on a wheelchair or crutches than I am on my feet, and we all know that's not true. He doesn't have to be fast. He's just going to rebound, and then he's no. Gonna but when you play it. one on one, you have to rebound, go back to the line. Yeah, he's going to hobble back to the line, right? And he's going to turn around when he gets to the line, and he's going to swish. Yeah, but he has to get to the line without me fucking stealing it. You're not going to steal shit. The old sister, you know, <laughs> grab, grab and go. He's got one leg, not no arms. He's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I'm being dead serious. That's actually interesting. I don't think you could beat Michael Jordan with one leg. No. You know who I want to beat? Can we pick out one more person that says I interrupt on this podcast and complain about it? Because if I read one more comment that people get upset that I interrupt, because I interrupt when I'm on the phone, everybody, you interrupt me, Nick interrupts me, my mom interrupts me. I don't interrupt so you. I'm having a bro chat and this is like a phone call. 
I'm going to interrupt when I want to. So you can all fucking suck a big bag of dicks. And I think it. when there's, I think when there's three of us interrupting is okay. I think when there's four of us, it gets really, just yeah, everybody... sometimes, sometimes I just have to interrupt the end. Yeah. You and Ian, cause you're both, you know what? You and Ian are both, both very dominant people. So when you guys, <laughs> no, I, some of his point of views, I just don't get. No, it's not that. It's just that the fact that you guys are both very strong personalities. So you're both cut each other off the whole time. Yeah, but why is the one? Why is it always guy, 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 guy cuts, guy cuts, guy cuts? You cut him off more than he cuts off you. You just have to fucking side with. No, I'm not. I'm not. I, guy, I love you. That's why I do this with you every week. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do this with me every week so you can laugh. Yeah, that's because I like you. So I'm saying that's what I mean. So it's like, why would you like me? Because you're. It's fun. We have fun. I, listen, you know how I pick this. People are like. You know, people used to ask me, like, how did you pick Luke to do the podcast with? And you know how I do the single podcast, right? I do the solo ones. Mm-hmm. Like the interviews. Yeah, the, yeah, the interview, single podcast, interview, whatever you want to call it, right? I can tell when I do the single one if I'll have fun with that person in this, yeah. in this dynamic, right? Yeah. So when that's why you guys are on here. So because we, we, we did our single ones, I'm like, oh, this is easy. You can tell when someone's easy to talk to. Yeah. Right. Right, so it's like that's why you're here. You're easy. It's fun. Wow, and that's why that's why we're here, Nick. No, that's not <laughs> easy. That's, I'm that's easy. why you're here. No, God. I mean like that's why. That's why. Man, I just put my foot in my fucking mouth. It's like that's it's like, now it's like the Lion King. Like he's raising. Up. <laughs> I, okay, I meant this. I meant it like that's why. We have a good time every week because it's easy and you're fun. You do cut off everybody though. Uh, and I, are you, are you asking me if I care? No, I mean that's part no. of that's part of the good part. That's part of the good part of guy. You're you're the crazy, you're the crazy loud Italian. It's good. Yeah, but when we're when we're when we're seriously talking and it's like a serious topic, I won't say. It. No, that's true. But if you, if you would like to throw out the little conversation, the little sidebar conversation we had regarding that, what sidebar? What sidebar uh, conversation, conversation we, had. we had on the phone about what I could or could not do and the bet that we shall make. What was that again? I forget. Oh, oh the f- God, boy, I have a horrible you're memory. You're not that important or that busy to forget everything that I say. I'm extremely busy. I'm not important. <laughs> what did, we talked about something. We said, we said you couldn't interrupt for five minutes or something like that. You couldn't talk. For I, five couldn't, minutes. I couldn't speak unless spoken to for five minutes. Nick, do you think you can do that? For five minutes? Yeah, guy, the guy can't talk for five minutes. This unless is going to be the funniest no you've ever seen. Unless he's asked, like, a direct question. Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> when do you want to start it? What was the bet again, though? I forget. Oh, you had to dye your beard. And you had to not dye yours, old man fucking That's saddlebags. Right. But I get to pick when the five minutes starts. Okay. I, th- okay. Only it cannot be on the fucking... Brawl for it all. No, we <laughs> don't say anything about that. I didn't say that's anything. I said that's brawl that's for it all. Okay. You knew what I was talking about because the way I, I, I said it. Nick's probably very confused. Nick is, Nick is lost. He's like, what are you talking let about? Me, let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something. What? Secrets don't make friends here. You're in on the fucking text. You're in it's on not the a secret. Text, you jackass. Oh. Well, then I got to go back and reread. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you said I saw 88 texts. I didn't want to oh, read that. Thing? Yeah, I sit down for some Easter dinner for five minutes. I look at my phone, 88 messages. Oh, shit. Well, sometimes, I, sometimes I want to get caught up. I'll go back and look through them all. So is that, is that fair? As long as it's not that. Why? Because that's like throw me to the wolves, bro. Well, you can't keep your mouth shut for five minutes? Not with the fucking, <laughs> uh, with, with, not with that crew. <laughs> Uh, with, if it's so us or if it's us or in in and or with Paul, I can. But if you have throw me to like a group like that, that's a I'm guaranteed. Okay. That's a guaranteed loss for you. It's a guaranteed you know, loss <laughs> on that day. I'd have to just walk away and go take a dump and just come back five minutes later. <laughs> hmm. Anyways, okay. So what were we talking about? Oh, uh, what's his name? Justin. Justin, Justin Rodriguez left his coach and went to Abdullah. He was oh, with it. He was with AJ Sims. Is that Cement Factory? Yeah, yeah. And I and I thought AJ did a great job. And Abdullah is a great coach too. So I'm not saying either one is bad or good. But I thought AJ did a great job. So I don't know why he left. So I'm kind of intrigued by that. 
But also, isn't it a really bad idea to leave your coach when you're fucking six weeks out? It's pretty close, in my opinion. I mean, if things aren't, if th- I guess if things aren't going well, then you have to make changes. I mean, you, you can late. make big changes in six weeks. It's very possible. But... No, I mean, like, if you see things not going the right way, you got to make a decision before it's too late to change your body. So six, no, weeks, I... so six weeks would be that time, right? Uh, yeah. Because you, cor- you can still correct things at that time. I mean, do you, you got, think do you like when you prep? Do you always like look at yourself and always be like, "I have like shit." I what I do. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. So I'm like, always for me, yeah. like for me to judge myself getting ready for a show, I'd be changing fucking coaches every five minutes. Yeah, sometimes you got to trust the person. I, the thing is, the confusing part though is AJ's got a good track record, and he's got a good track record with Justin. You know who spoke highly of him? Who brought him in for a couple shows? I I don't think died at him, but I think brought him in was uh, Juan. Juan, yeah, uh, dude, he's a great coach. He's coached. Uh, yeah, he, he helped. He helped Juan a couple years ago, right? Dude, Marco yeah. Marco Rivera looked like. Is it Marco Rivera? Is that I'm thinking of? Marco Rivera's yeah. a two twelve guy. Is oh, he's two twelve. Somebody else. Somebody something Rivera. <laughs> Fuck, who did he coach? The guy, uh, just, Alexis. Is that Alex, you say Alexis. Alexis. I think it's Alexis Rivera. That guy's a freak. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a big boy. What what happened to him? Is he is he competing? I don't know, but he's a freak. And then I heard. Uh, let's see. I just want to show you guys. Look at that beard. Man. Look at this is. This is Alexis Rivera. Look at that before and after. Look at this fucking guy. Quads, fucking arms, chest. Yeah, it's great, man. Holy shit. Yeah, AJ got him ready for a show. I think he won. Look I think at that he, quad. I think he, he won. Might... Wasn't he win something overseas? No, I think he won Vancouver. Yeah, well, uh, for me, it's overseas. Yeah, international for you, yeah. Yeah, look at how fucking great he looks. That's crazy. No quads, man. So I think that, yeah, I think this is Vancouver here, maybe. No, I don't know what show this no, is. No, John, didn't John win that? Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, the, he AJ posts photos of him all the time. I mean, look how, look how fucking shredded he is here. He looks hard, yeah. as na- hard as fucking nails he's there. He's got crazy muscle ba- bellies. Yeah, yeah, he's great. I mean, I wouldn't judge a coach based on one guy, but everybody, everybody else I can think of that AJ trained, kind of looks like this. Yeah, you know, Juan looked good, and I, like I said, Justin looked good too. So it's like, you see a back shot? Look at that. That's crazy. Look at his muscles. Feathering. This is fucking crazy, man. Like hard, hard and dry. I mean, I don't know if this is filtered or not. Enough. I don't but, think that's filtered. And I was gonna say, and I don't think that's filtered actually. Yeah. <clears throat> look at this shit. That's just crazy, gnarly, grainy muscle. Okay, check in for cement, for cement factory. And I don't, I don't have anything to do with with AJ, so I'm not blowing him up for no reason. I just, You're I just welcome it, gay bro. I just find it interesting that uh, it's it's it blows my mind to why somebody would leave at five five six weeks out. But anyway, so blessings looking better. AJ's looking good, or not AJ? Uh, Justin's looking good. Nick is looking good. Hassan Mustafa's in the show now. Nick, where you you still got it under control? Yeah, yeah. Are you scared? No, not at all. I'm actually happy it sounds in. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if Hassan can beat you. Like I said, if he if I'm if he's not if his conditioning isn't there, he won't. I think at that show, anybody can. Those guys are going to be a flip flop based on who comes in the best condition. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that because all because of you- I think like I like I think some guys can get away with being a little less conditioned, but like I think a lot of the flaws are going to be seen on on especially certain physiques. I think Nick Blessing, Justin, if, and Hassan, if those guys are a little off, their their physique just does not look remotely the same. Yeah, yeah. I got to tell you though, I'm really excited about it because I remember the New York Pro last year, man. I was so happy when there was like eight, ten good guys because there was like ten, there was like ten big names at that show. Like watching an exciting football game. Yeah, I'm like, this is fucking awesome. And you know, when you, when you think of the 10 people that were in the show, you're like, this could go any fucking way. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. And it's the same thing with this New York Pro. I'm like, you know what? It really is, you know, you can pick, you know, okay, this guy might be first, second. But like Guy said, it's like, you know, conditioning is going to play a big part because you guys are so close in so many different ways. I agree. Yep. What do you think, if, it, if a show's that close, let's say with five, let's say there's five guys and it's super close, what do you think is the determining factor for a judge? Uh, for for what? 
I'm just just to like be like you got five guys that are super close, right? Who I'd say there was eight really good guys in the show could have went either way. So let's cut it down and say there's five really really good guys. When I like everybody's got great shape, great symmetry, you know, great condition. What is the thing you would be like that uh, for that reason he he looks or did or whatever presented this way, and that's why I'm giving him the nod in my in my book. I'll tell you what uh, me and Paul talked about because Paul's an IFBB judge. So we were talking about New York and we had an argument because at the time I thought Justin won. I'm like, I think, I think, I think just after prejudging, I'm like, I think Justin's got it. And Paul was like, no, I think Ian's got it. And I'm like, I don't think so. When they came back at night and after Paul explained to me why he had Ian, I'm like, okay, I think Ian's got it. What was his reason? What he said to me was because they're all so close, it's almost like the judges picked the guy with the least weaknesses. Wow. And when you looked at them, right? You look at them all. You you look at Justin. Justin's legs are a little downsized compared to his upper body. Yeah, yeah. You look at you look at John De La Rosa. He was just a touch off. You looked at at Nick. He was new. He still couldn't get his like his structure. Maybe not as good as Ian's, like from top to bottom. Because at the time you were still posing with like your st- stomach elongated, so it looked like things didn't. didn't oh no, you didn't do New York. That was Chicago. Sorry. Fourth was. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. Fourth was Hassan. Hassan, yeah. Hassan looked like he was uh, a little bit too compact, right? It was a structural issue. And then you had Max, who was like missing some of the back, maybe the hamstrings. So everybody had like something they were kind of missing, except for, you know, Ian I'm sure was overall complete. I'm sure Ian, people are going to be like, well, Ian didn't have calves and this and that. But overall, Ian like stacked up the best against that lineup. Yeah. So he had the least amount of uh, weaknesses. Yeah, that's. I think that's what they end up having to do when everybody's that close. Yeah. Fair. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because it's like, what else? No, I, I agree. How else again? Gonna- I, I feel like some judges. I, I some judges. I think would rather go for like conditioning over size. Some judges might want to go for size over conditioning. So you might have one judge big. Like, hey, you know what? I, I I'm a I'm a size guy. I'm going to go for the bigger of the five. Yeah, you're right. But when they're all similar size, then what do you do? Because like when you look at that show, they were all pretty close in muscularity yeah. and muscularity and size. Nobody's like, like it wasn't like Akeem showed up and Akeem's like a monster, and everybody else is like a little smaller. It was like yeah. everybody was pretty similar. So if everybody's kind of close, then you got to go. Okay, who's got the least amount of? Or do you do? Or do you? Or do you turn around and say, all right, we're gonna fucking watch the posing routines and do it like that? No, I don't think they do that. I don't think they give a shit or presentation or, or how they pose or presentation is part of it. I think, but presentation is like, is, is the guy's oil good? Is his can good? Yeah. And Ian had both those things nailed for that show. Yeah. And his posing is good. Like his mandatory poses are good. Yeah. So, I mean, that's all, that's all they can do, man. It's like when there's not a standout, I think that's what they have to do is who's got yeah. the least amount of shit going wrong. So I don't know. Anyway. Um, guy, what are you doing? How's your off season going? Good. I got a couple more weeks. I'm de deloading for the first time in my I life. I saw your post. You said you never deloaded before. I, I know. I just trained. How do you feel? I, it's actually th- this is the this is the hardest thing for me to do because I go in the gym and I like have not to push it that. right. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Does very, it feel good? very weird. Does your body feel more fresh though? Um, I mean, I feel good. I, I actually fuck. Believe it or not, I was. Compl- I don't. Was I complaining? Last time on the podcast, my hand was really bothering me. Yeah, we're all complaining about our wrists. Okay, well, I like couldn't take you last night, and I actually messaged my uh, my shoulder doctor. He actually we became like pretty cool, and uh, you know we talk here and there. And I sent him a voice note. I said, "Hey, doc," I said, "My fucking hand is still killing me." And I go, and he hasn't seen me yet. And I said, uh, "My um." in the middle of my hand, I go, my, my fingers get locked and I got to like, almost like open my finger up. I go, my, my grip strength is horrible. So he called me and he was like, asking me a question. I was getting into it and he goes, actually, you know what? He goes, let me guess. It's your ring finger and your middle finger. And I go, yep. I go, and it's in, in the middle. It's literally in the middle of my hand on both sides right here. I could drop myself to the ground. And he goes, yeah. He goes, I'll see you on Wednesday at 1230. I said, why? He's like, you got trigger finger. I said, what? He goes, it's the most common surgery that I do. He was like, I'll give you a cortisone shot. And he's like, if that doesn't work, he was like, you can get one more. He's like, and then they got to do a surgery. I was like, how did you get it? How'd you get it? And I'm going to tell you how I got it. Because doing the uh, Meadows program, 
I was doing back twice a week and I was doing so much rowing. So yeah. much, so much yeah, rowing. But why, why the finger? I don't get it. Why the fingers? Like what? Well, I, I look, it, it has something to do with the, with the tendon being overused in the middle of your middle finger and your uh, ring finger. It's like just an overuse. Don't you use, use wrist wraps or no? Yeah, but it don't matter. But I, I only use wrist wraps on back day. That's it. Yeah, that's all the other time. I, I, don't yeah, mean, I, don't, I don't mean, I don't mean, I don't mean, I don't mean wrist wraps. I mean straps. Like Versa grips. Yeah, or straps, like the strap yes. up to a bar. Yes, yes. Yeah. But you're still holding the weight regardless. Like you're, you're, the weight's still in your hand. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, if you Google it, maybe it'll make more sense. But yeah, I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. So what exactly is it? You'll he'll pull it up. Oh, you want me to pull it up? Yeah, pull it up because I'm I, I guarantee a lot because I never ever heard of this ever. What is something it? else? I want bigger finger. Up. Yeah, period. I'm sure porn's gonna come up now. I love sure. how Fuad, Fuad used to Fuad used to share his screen prior he to going to shit, now he waits till Google pops up to then <laughs> share his screen so he doesn't give himself like anxiety of just in case, stuff. just in case. <laughs> All right, so trigger finger surgery images. Just how about what is trigger finger? One second. It's so it's this, so it's this finger here. Yeah, yeah, it's my ring finger. Yeah. All right, so let's figure out. Let's see what it is here. Uh, trigger finger surgery. How about you just put what is trigger finger? It, this is. It's an overview. What to expect? Uh, if you're familiar with the pain of having a finger or a thumb stuck in a curled position, it can hurt whether or not you're using your hand. Plus, there's the frustration of not being able to do things you want to, from buttoning your clothes to texting to playing guitar or even playing a video game. Surgery for trigger finger is done to increase the space for your flexor tendon to move. Your flexor tendon is a tendon in your fingers that is activated by your muscles to pull on the finger bones. That allows your finger to bend and flex. After surgery, the finger can bend and straighten without pain. So you just need to make more space. That's what they're doing. Yeah, I would maybe I could do that to my height. <laughs> <laughs> can you do that to guy's spine? I'll say. <laughs> yeah, but let me tell you something. It's no joke. It's no. Does it, does it hurt when you train? Uh, yeah, it, it it definitely is changing how I grip shit. Yeah. 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 Dude, I, these little things fucking kill. We were talking about it last week. Remember the, yeah, the, the pain right here from the fucking from texting and shit. It's like from doing from hold like this. Dude, I didn't train biceps. I didn't train biceps for three weeks because I couldn't. I couldn't curl a fucking dumbbell like this. I'm like, what the fuck? So I stopped using my phone. I saw. I started using this. Did you ever thing. like think when you were like 15, 20, like that you'd be like talking about this stupid shit that happens at like? That I never. Death. I never thought my phone would cripple me. That's what I never thought. Like, how did my like uh, using uh, using my phone just fucking waste? I got injured using my phone. That I never thought I would say that. Like, so anyway, listen, we got. Uh, yeah, I, actually, you know, I have a question I want to ask you guys. Yeah. Okay. So, Craig, you know who Craig Elias is, right? I'm guessing. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think he's fucking hilarious. I watch his stories. I crack up all the time. Yeah, he's awesome. So he posted on his story the other night, and may, maybe I live in a fucking bubble. And it, he posted like one of the um, surveys, like, what should I watch? It was like centipede, centipede one, centipede two, centipede three, whatever. And I'm like, so I messaged him. I go, is that really a fucking movie? Yeah. And the, he was like, the human centipede? Hold, on, hold, hold don't ruin my story, Nick Walker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I go, is that really a movie? Now he was like, yeah, you got to watch it, but watch number two and make sure it's in color. I'm like, all right. So I'm like, this is kind of probably stupid. So I didn't really like look into it that night, but it came up in conversation the next day. And then that conversation led to me having multiple conversations about it and then watching the trailer for it. Have you guys heard of this fucking, cause like I'm, I'm so disgusted cause I watched the trailer and I actually gave myself anxiety last night before bed. And like all morning I was trying to eat my breakfast. And I was sick to my stomach. Because I kept thinking about the trailer, and I want to watch it because I just want to fucking watch it just to be done with it, so I stopped thinking about it. But it's—is it really that bad? It's pretty disgusting. You don't. <laughs> you don't know I've, what it is? I've watched it. It's pretty. It's pretty. He's disgusting. searching for it now. Is it, is it this? 
Go no. Go, you want to watch the trailer? Is everybody's head in each other's ass? What is this? Is this not... That's the that. Uh, is that what it is? That's that's the centipede. But is that how they form the centipede? Like, okay. technically, yes. <laughs> Why are you laughing, guy? What the fuck? It is. Look, it's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm not- Look at that. <laughs> that's what they're doing. It's her head is in underwear. That's what this is. So he fucking sews the mouth, the, their people's mouths to other so assholes. assholes. So oh they have my like one, god! They have like one digestive tract, like this. <laughs> oh my god! I was right, and I was joking. Oh. What the fuck? And somebody watched this. Bro, Craig Goliath said it's the best. He, it's like his favorite movie. Oh my God, I'm sweating. Oh, I must throw up fucking. I think you got to be like, I, this seems like it would be Craig's big kind of uh, kind of movie. I don't think I could watch this shit. It's pretty disturbing. Hey, wait, so Nick, you watched it? I have. Like all, all three? No, I, I just watched the second one. Jesus. Fuck, what are you watching that for? Oh my god, my stomach is killing me. I, I get curious. I want to know. Who has goes is your head in each other's asses? <laughs> now I gotta watch it. Because now, 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 listen, now, now wait, I'm curious. Listen, as, as gay as this is gonna sound, I don't care. I'll say it. There's I like scary movies. If you're gonna watch it, can we FaceTime and watch it together? Because I will not watch that by myself. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking way I'm watching. Even if I just FaceTime and I can just hear you breathe and know you're yeah. my ass, I'm good. <laughs> I don't even have to see it. Cause I I'm like dying to watch it, but I'm so fucking nervous to watch it by myself. Are you so you don't like scary movies? No, I like scary movies. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me rephrase it. You like scary movies, but you don't like being scared. No, I like being scared to an extent that there's some things I can't. It's not really a scary movie. That's just fucking disgusting. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, you're not going to get scared. You're going to be like, what the fuck am I watching? Yeah, that's that's why I I don't, that's the whole thing. Like, my buddy, my buddy that hates scary movies, my best friend, absolutely terrified of scary movies. I called him on the way to the gym today. I've been having this centipede conversation with everybody. And he watched the trailer with me on the phone on FaceTime because I was yeah. like, I want to see your reaction. And he goes, I, I, it's gross, but I'm, it's like not scary. And I go, you're scared of the clown it. And this isn't scary. And he paused and he was like, yeah, yeah, that's definitely scarier. I was like, so the clown's scarier than this. And he's like, yeah. I go, so you would watch something like this over the movie it or like Hostel. He's like, absolutely. Because one's scary and one's just like gross. Hostile. One's just gross. Like, I don't like watching fucked up shit. That's what, that, that, that's, what this, that's what this is. What'd you say, Nick? Did you ever watch Hostel, though? Yeah, I think I remember that. Isn't that like... That's a, that's a fucked up Wasn't movie. that like... Uh, when he slit the fucking guy's Achilles tendon and shit? Oh, yeah. he made him get up and walk? Oh, I do... Was that... I was, did that come out around the same time as Saw? Yeah, it was like 2005. It's old. Yeah, it was around the same time, right? There's a couple of them, though, Nick, right? Yeah, there's like three three hostels, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I saw all of them. I think I remember seeing one. I don't remember seeing all of them. I remember... I like Saw, I like Saw though. I like Saw. I remember seeing Saw. That would fuck me up. The first one's the best one, though. Where he cuts off yeah. his leg? Just the, I just like the whole, like... I know. The first one's where he cuts I, off his leg. At the, spoiler yeah, well, alert. Yeah, but I, the ending was like the best part of the whole Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. My, my memory's fucked, so I don't remember half the shit I fucking see. Um, I want to read these things real quick before we go on. I got a, I got a good message, and I just I just want to read it because it's like okay. the shit's crazy that I get this stuff sometimes. Um, hey Fuad, I stumbled upon your podcast a little over a year ago. I always listen to it on Spotify when I'm in the car. I generally, don't watch it on YouTube. My soon-to-be 57-year-old dad knows nothing about bodybuilding and enjoys and listens to it as well. Just 57 years old, listen to shit. That's awesome. We went into our family room today to see him watching the toenail podcast and watching and watching one of your cooking videos. Basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm thankful that your podcast has been a way for me to talk to my dad and connect more just about who you who you guys all are and what you guys do, etc. With 37 years difference between us, it's hard finding things 
we're both interested in. So it's ple being ple a pleasant surprise to see him getting interested in something that I love so much, which is bodybuilding. For some reason, he seems to like Guy the most, probably because they're both old fucks, LOL. So thank you so much for not only... Not <laughs> Thank you so much, not only to you, but all of the guys. I couldn't appreciate it anymore for what you guys have done. That's awesome. What's his name? Adam. Adam, just for the record, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who adds older than me? So go back a couple episodes <laughs> and see me with no beard. Yeah, but you act, you act older than I do because you're like an old, angry Italian guy. First of all, why is, I am probably happier than everybody on this podcast. But, but you rage more. Yeah, you do rage. You have a fire. You have a passion. Yeah, passion. Yeah. Call it passion. passion. <laughs> pops. Being pops. What Listen, is isn't that crazy, though? Yeah. Guy's 57. That's, it's, really, it's really cool, though. It's somebody's awesome. somebody's 57-year-old dad is watching Ian cut his toenails. That's well, some 57-year-old some dad thinks I'm 57 and he's watching me. So. Yeah. And then... Uh, this one, this one, I also... This is short. It just says... Bro, the podcast got me through chemotherapy. I'm rewatching some of them now. I'm dying laughing. Great stuff. You, Guy, and Nick are great. That's awesome. That's yeah, great. man. This kind of stuff. And then I got, I got one last long one I want to read. It's from Jimmy. <clears throat> he says, Hey, Fuad, I just want to tell you that I love the Bro Chat podcast and look forward to it weekly. It always puts a smile on my face, even if I had a shit day. Nick or Ass Man or Squirt King or whoever, or whoever he is today is hilarious. And doesn't even know he is. His face gets so serious as soon as an, any ass play or talk <laughs> begins, like he's the foremost authority on the subject. Paul is such an awesome dude. Ian is brutally honest. At least the Kevin, at least Kevin Lavroni thinks so. And Guy is just the quintessential New, New Jersey dude. This I know for <laughs> this I know for a fact because I live there as well. In fact, I train at the same gym as Guy. I laugh because on the podcast. Day, I see when he leaves the gym sometimes and I know he's about to catch shit from you guys for being late. Anyway, please keep doing what you're doing. Best of luck with your brand. P.S. I love I, I live in New Jersey and even I don't know what a twat waffle is. Can Guy please clarify for the viewers? What's a, <laughs> what's a, clarify, bro. What's a twat waffle, dude? <clears throat> I don't know. My mom's best friend and her used to call each other that on the phone. That twat waffle? Twat waffle. I think of roast beef when you say twat waffle. Like, oh, yeah, I think, I, I mean, I think of, like, meat curtains, too. But wait, who is that? Because now I got stalkers. It is uh, Jimmy Gaboda. He looks like he's got, uh, I don't know, reddish, oh, it, red, reddish, okay. reddish blonde hair. He's got a beard and a mustache. It, Jimmy, it's uh, my, it's uh, Callie works at the gym and uh so does her brother sammy who's getting into powerlifting yeah it's, it's their father i know who he is listen I, I don't mean to be cheesy but i just i read some of these things and i'm like i don't know if these i don't know if they get sent to you guys so i thought i'd read them on the show because they're i don't know it's fucking crazy to me man yeah it's, it's like awesome. i don't you know uh, the park your podcast has helped many people man yeah so it just it's crazy because i you know i thought yeah it's just a bunch of meatheads watch this shit and this guy's telling me he's 57 year old dad yeah. is watching it the other guy's watching it during chemotherapy and i'm like this is fucking yeah. something else so anyway i just wanted to read a couple of them um all right we got 600 questions so let's get through five <laughs> uh greatest bodybuilder who never turned pro i think we've done this before i said Ed edgar fletcher can you guys think of anybody who never turned pro nick you don't got nothing eh <laughs> What did what uh, was I don't I don't I, I don't want to say Vic Richards because I don't think that was it's him. Who, He's the only one. I think was, Vic, was Vic Richards? Did he turn pro and never do a pro show? That's what I always thought. Or did he? Did he never turn pro? Because I want to say Vic Richards, but I mean, who else? I really don't. I don't. I don't know another amateur. I'm not being a dick, but it's like you don't really. Uh, hear Victor that. Victor went on to get his pro card in Nigeria, but did not compete. That's what it was. Yeah. I honestly don't have an amateur that I could tell you. Well, I'll just say, I'll just leave it at Edgar Fletcher. He's, uh, I don't know if you guys know who that is. No. One second. All right. Let me see here. I brought him up before, but we'll do it one more time. Fuck. Look at his face. Mad lady. Look, he's like, where, where, where's, look how stoned he is. Look at him. 
high as hell. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard that. <laughs> where's, your, where's your glasses? We're not starting until you wear your glasses. Right here for that. I was just give me a second here. I was getting settled in. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was the most bothersome reaction. <laughs> well, you got a Kung Fu head down once in a while, guy. He gets a little excited. Settle down, son. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Let me clean my specs and I'll get them on here. Your beard's looking mighty gray. I know. Actually, I was going to color it tonight, but I ran right out of time. You got to color it. It's worse than guys. Fuck. At least guys got some black. <laughs> guys got some black in his. Yeah. Let me see, guy. I got my glasses on. Did I just hear a loud cat meow? Yeah, he's yeah, it's my fucking cat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, Major, the old ears are working good. <laughs> yeah, this thing. All is... right. This is Edgar Fletcher. Oh, oh yeah. I know Edgar Fletcher. Uh, I never turned pro. Guy never turned pro. No. Never turned pro. Paul, do you? What is Paul? Paul would know. Paul's a fucking historian. Yeah. Paul, who is the who is the best bodybuilder to never turn pro? In your opinion, he's one of them for sure. Uh, Matt oh, Mendenhall. Matt Mendenhall uh, comes up, comes I up a lot. I thought he turned pro. No, Matt Mendenhall. No, I don't think he ever did. That no. he comes comes up a lot. I actually, said big, I said yeah. Vic Richards, but he turned pro. There's Matt Who? Mendenhall. Vic Richards, I said, but I, Vic Richards. I, I, Vic Richards did go pro. Yeah, um, I know. I, I, I didn't. I didn't know that. I well, I did, but I forgot. Like you know, it's, he's one of the things. Like I said, he either didn't turn pro or turned pro and never competed, and it was the latter of the yeah. Yeah, I actually met I met Vic Richards before. He trained at my gym for like a couple of weeks, like way back in the day. Anybody else other than Matt Mendenhall, Paul? Um, <clears throat> Edgar Fletcher, for sure. Um, well, I already said him. Anybody else? Yeah. Um, that, I can't think that, of that's crazy. I know. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Look at his waist. That was nuts. Paul, how are you doing? <clears throat> I'm good for that. How are you doing? Sorry, I'm late. You're extremely late. It's like an hour. Oh, I know. Well, I had no notice. I was right in the middle of doing stuff. And what are you talking about? I told you yesterday, you stoner. You forgot? You told me it was Thursday. No, no. I told you yesterday, today. No, Paul. See, you're Thursday's the bangerang. <laughs> he didn't tell me shit. He's just, gonna, <laughs> he's just saying that. <laughs> oh, he's trying to fucking Jedi mind trick you? <laughs> yeah, he always does that. Yeah. And then I just go along with it. What event would you rather die than live through? What he said? Would I rather what event, die what event would you rather die than live through? A hostile event. A hostile event? Yeah, which yeah, like one? The movie? Yeah. The movie? <laughs> like the movie where they fuck around and cut oh, your you shit? Just, so you're saying you'd rather not get taken and abused? You'd rather die yeah, than I'd rather one. die. Just, yeah. just kill me. I, can you pick one specifically? What do you mean? Like the movie? What can movie? you pick an event? Pick something like, specific. A real event? Something, yeah, like from, the, something the from the movie. Can you pick something from the movie? Oh, yeah. What a dude was like tied to the chair, he got Achilles tendon cut off, all his like tendons kit cut too. Like so yeah, you'd rather you'd rather die than be tortured, is what you're saying. Oh yeah, you get your you get every tendon cut. Okay, like, but that's you can't but, do nothing. Okay, but that's kind of obvious. Is there something what do you mean that's kind of obvious? You told me to pick one, so I fucking picked one. What what, <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> wow, well, lower. Lower the trend. Yeah. Lower the trend. Yeah. Yeah. Would, you, would, you add, would you add some halo in this week? You fucking yeah. bitch. Well, lower the dose a little bit. Nick, lower the dose. <laughs> well, next time. Yeah, Alan, he's, got, he's on that halo, the old truth serum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, is there, is there an event? <clears throat> well, wait a minute. Your tendons are going to heal. You'd rather die than not fucking, you know what I mean? No, oh, you're not escaping from that. Like they're gonna kill you anyway. So wait, wait. Kill. So you're saying you're saying you'd rather escape being dead? <laughs> no, I'm saying like, let's say you weren't gonna die, but they were just torturing you. Would you? No, rather... so, uh, you're gonna die. But now you're com you're combining both. You're not playing yeah, the so game I, right. So what's the question? I'm confused now. Because the I'm question thinking. is: Is there an, ev an event? Like, would you rather die than go to like? A country music concert. Yes. <laughs> Are you serious? Right? No, I no, I'm I i do not hate it that, well, much. that is a But I'm just saying but I'm just saying, is there an event that you would rather die than go to or be part of or have done to you? Are you said not like well, I mean there's a lot of bad events in the past. There's not any. There there I mean I mean think about, I, think about history, bro. Think about Germany. Think yeah, about but all the all the bad things I can think of. End up you end up dying anyway. There's there's things I'm I don't want to say because I know if I say fucking something about history and something about a culture, I'm gonna get blasted. So I'm gonna take in the old right, zipper and shh. 
Let's look at it. Let's skip it. Let's just skip that one. Uh, would you rather be called skinny during peak bulk or fat during prep? Hmm. <laughs> this one's actually really fucking good because I went to go burn something out and then fucking pull the break. I would rather be called fat during prep. Yeah. Because if, if I'm bulking and somebody says I'm skinny, I don't believe them anyway. I'm like, I weigh 300 pounds. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, but that can mess with your head too, though, if it's wrong. No, I think if I got, I think I've I never that, that, skinny, skinny during bulk. That's never worked on me. No, though. it's worked on me. I don't think. Not because I'm like, oh, I'm so huge, but I'm like, you know, people are fucking with you. It's like, whatever. But that's why I'm saying that depends on who said it to you. If like it's if someone who's a skinny bitch. <laughs> right. I, don't, I don't think I have a problem feeling too, too small. I think I have a problem feeling shredded enough when I'm dieting. Yeah. But still, it messes with a body glory's head if you say something like, hey, man, you dieting right now, even though he's not. So it's you, so you would take, you would rather be called fat during prep than skinny. Yeah. Or not fat, but big. No, 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 no. Well, you don't get to change the. You can't change game. the game. <laughs> like, like, we're not going from baseball to soccer. Okay, okay, hang on though. Hang question. on though. Like, do I got my shirt off when someone calls me fat, or is just my face? They're, they're basing this off. I don't know, man. He's, he's like, I'm a pro judge. I, he's, he's, like, he's like, I'm a pro judge. I can just do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Okay, but now, like, what's the context here? Like, am I standing with my shirt off when they're calling me fat, or is it just my face or saying looks fat? Oh my god. Yes, you're posing in the mirror during prep, and someone says you look fat. That would crush me. That would crush you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you, you you said it would crush you just baffled me. Like I can picture you going home being like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I would definitely work harder the next day. I wouldn't just throw in the towel, but it would yeah. definitely mess with my. If somebody, if I was prepping and somebody's like, "Man, you don't, you look fat," I was like, ah, "I still look better than you, so it's all good." But what if it was like some like a peer? Who? Like a peer of yours, you know, like a fellow bodybuilder. Um, if Jay Cutler looked at you guys and said, "You look skinny, yeah, bro. You look yeah. one sixty. <laughs> <laughs> he did when I fucking had shoulder surgery. He goes, "Yeah, you know, but you were, but you weren't in peak. You were in peak bulk. You were actually coming off a of surgery. Yeah, but if he you was, were if you were in peak. Are you bulk, ready for this? He was the only fucking friend." I know you told me that that it looked like shit. I know that, but my point is, if you were in peak bulk and you're like, I feel great, I feel huge, and then Jay came up and he's like, "You look like shit. You look small." Would it crush you, or or would it crush you more if you were like getting ready for a show, you're four weeks out, and Jay's like, oh, "You look like you're behind. You're fat." I would. If Jay said that to me, I look at him and go, "Find me somebody to buy steroids from." <laughs> <laughs> Find me a better source. <laughs> Nick, what would you rather do? What would you rather be said? Some, what would you rather somebody say to you? Would, I can't even speak. Would you rather be called skinny or fat? A uh, fat. Because I know I'm not skinny. <laughs> Is that how I sound? Yeah, but the That's fat. Of... <laughs> <laughs> Is that how I sound? That's beautiful. <laughs> The tempo of your fucking speech sometimes kills me. <laughs> Is that how I sound? <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's like exactly what you say, but instead of saying like, hey, guy, you'll be like, hey, gay. Hey, gay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> which, oh, this is a good one. Okay. I, I saw this one earlier. Uh, would you rather wash your face with Nick Walker's ass rag or drink twice? <laughs> I was waiting for or, 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 was a second. <laughs> Or drink Guy Sisternino's cup of full cup of chew spit. Full cup. Oh, we're gonna yeah. put Chew's one in for the old fan now. I drink the. Oh fuck! I don't know. I drink I'm, the spit. I think. You I drink the spit. You disgusting fuck. I throw up. Ew, I throw fucking, up right you're, now. You're marinating ass rag in your shower. You <laughs> dirty well, fuck. To my defense. <laughs> hey man, so you guys, funny. you guys don't get the same thing as me and Paul get to answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, to my defense, it's an ass rag, so I clean my ass with it, but I also rinse it out, clean it all off. So oh. odds are you probably wouldn't even know that I used my ass on. Oh, uh, meanwhile, these motherfuckers are drinking your tobacco spit. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can eat, you can eat fucking dinner. You could have you could eat a fucking dinner off your ass rag. It's so clean, right? <laughs> it's crazy to clean the ass rag. No, that's you fucking so, in your fucking shower the whole entire day. 
It's got fucking mar- it's marinating dingleberries on it. And then you <laughs> no, go no, no. fucking put it in water sure. and so you ram it up your that. ass again. Nah. You wouldn't even know it was you. I'll drink, I, dude, I accidentally drank my buddy spit fucking a couple, a couple months ago in his truck. <laughs> Did you throw up? I fuck yeah, I was gagging out the window, spitting, screaming at him because he took, <laughs> he fucking put we had coffee. Okay, can, well, that's what I'm saying. So can we can we answer? Can we answer? Can we no, answer? No, I'm I'm go go ahead, go into my bathroom. Not hey, knowing that's my ass right. Cleans his face with it, puts it away. He knows he's drinking your fucking tobacco spit. That's disgusting. He knows you're, he's using your ass rag. But it won't smell like ass. He won't know it's ass. And he's just going to put it back. Well, he's going to drink your fucking spit. Like, Paul, what do you think? Paul, so what, what, you think? What, what do I got to do with Nick's ass rag? You got to wash your face. Why can't you keep up? Are you stoned right now? Clarifying. I'm just clarifying. <laughs> A little bit. I'm just clarifying for us. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wash your face with Nick's ass rag after he rinses it. It doesn't I see it. Rinse. Why are you so specific? Okay, sorry. I'll take it for face value. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, or drink guy spit. Or drink guys. I just feel like this is a no brainer. Full of chew. No, are you I trust that Nick is a very clean man. <laughs> Watch a guy do that right now. I don't want nothing to do with this bit. So I would, I think I would change my answer. I would go with Nick's. Ew, ew. Whoa. I know, I know, guy. There's no right answer here. You're like 63% gay. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> as I, long think, as, I think I'm uh, taking Nick's ass rag too. I think so. Because I know Nick. It's, it's a no brainer. You just look Man, at you. Watching, watching you spit into that cup makes yeah, me want to suck it. I can't even watch. I can't even watch you spit in that cup, let alone drink it myself. Like, I, <laughs> it like if it was a you know what's crazy though, know, I'll tell you this. And, and right, somebody's gonna comment. I know there's motherfuckers on here that chew tobacco that have accidentally drank either their spit or somebody else's, and they're gonna say they'd rather do that than wipe their fucking face with somebody's ass right. Yeah, yeah, but wait a minute, it's not saying a little bit, it's a it's a cup full. Yeah, if it's not a set, You're it's spitting a in it for like fucking a week and it's full and I got to drink it? Fuck that. <laughs> oh, I've, oh, I've used your ass rag. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to gag just thinking like about this. Take a little sip and call it a day. Uh, this guy asks, where's Ian in the picture of the bro chat? Ian's part of the other podcast. We just bring him over sometimes. We bring him over sometimes. Uh, what was your favorite subject in school and why? Chemistry. Gym class. Huh. Yeah, gym. gym oh, I like to blow shit up. No, in, in high school, it was uh, auto shop. And in university, it was history. What high school oh, did you go to? And, like and, and, school, and so. psychology, psychology, too. What high school did you go to? They had auto shop? Massey had an auto did shop. Too. Did they, yeah? Oh, I didn't, yeah? My high school didn't have an auto shop. Yeah, I took auto shop for four years. Yeah? Yeah. Huh. Um, I, I like history. I stole the auto shop car. Well, I'm a history Did major. You? Oh, you told me the story. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're a history major. Uh, yeah, I went back? to college. Are you? I went to college to be a history teacher. Yeah. Really? I love history. Why do you know so little about history, though? Me? I don't know who he's referring to. I, don't I think he's talking to. about you guys. I'm talking, talking about history, so he can't, he can't be talking to me. <laughs> I, was talking, yeah. I was talking to a guy. Talking can, to you spit, can you spit into like a, a colored cup? <laughs> like, does it have to be? Does it have to be clear? <laughs> <laughs> your big, your big dig, big dick mug. <laughs> um, Nick, what was your favorite subject in school? Chemistry. Yeah, I'll, I'll pack it with this. What is that? It's a napkin. Napkin. So uh, have, why, why chemistry, Nick? I like to mix shit and blow shit up. Oh, use like the beakers and shit. Yeah, uh, the beakers and shit. Well, that's what I remember from high school. That's what I remember That's what I remember from fucking high school science. Man. <laughs> that's like, all you, that's like, all you remember. Beakers and like, shit. Like, what do you know, remember? Right? What would you say then, Paul? Oh, there's, you... like, there's like petri dishes. And, oh, okay. Uh, sorry. Know. I'll say petri dish instead of beakers. That's better. <laughs> what, what chemical got on your head to make you shrink? And... <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> for guy do you ever dip while training hi no but i had guys in the college football that fucking 
put chew in their mouthpiece and fucking dipped when they train uh, when we did practice. Really, eh? They do it for uh, games too. I went to I went to college with motherfucking rednecks. Yeah. Did huh. they do it for games too, or just practice? Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, good question. I don't know. I think just practice. Because I could see someone like spinning, you know, someone else's face during a game or something. With some- I literally don't chew all week. I do it like I stop chewing altogether. But for some reason on the road chat, I just fucking, this is my time to just sip tea and chew tobacco. Yeah, whatever. I actually drink more coffee because of the podcast. I don't really drink a lot of coffee outside. Like, I always have one on the podcast, though. It's weird. The podcast does weird things. Yeah, I, I gotta get a I, I gotta get a cigar filtration here. So I have a second <laughs> have a yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying, like it, you're gonna get a cigar lounge. Paul is gonna fucking have a little hot box with a one here. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> we talked about it before. Um, I think this is a good question. How do you choose a song for an individual routine for a classic show? I don't think it matters if it's classic or yeah, it doesn't, no. How do you choose a song for your routine, guy? What's your what's your philosophy I, on it? <clears throat> Uh, well, I take a couple of things into consideration. I take A, I usually try to do something that everybody knows because I think if you do a song and you come out to a song that nobody's ever heard, they're kind of like, wh- they don't know what it is. And you want the crowd to be into the song. True, very true. <laughs> and number two, I like a song that starts here, has a high, levels out, has a low. Like, I, I like dramatics. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that too. Then when you have dramatics, you can hit your most muscular is your, your favorite poses. And then when you have lows, you can go, you can go down, you can go to a knee, you can hit cl- more classical poses. So th- that's what I look for in a song. When you say, dr- I, I, when you say dramatic, on knee, what, one second, when you say dramatics, are you talking about like theme music? Or are you just saying a song, even if it's a popular song that has a, up and, a high and a low? Even anything that has high and low. Okay, that you okay. can, when I say dramatic, I'm talking about when you have a high, your yeah, poses yeah, are more like in your face. And when you have a low, your poses are more dramatic because you're going slower and you're keeping up with the song. How does that dramatic pose go? Like this? It's going to turn into one of those fucking little... It's going to one of your little rap videos. I now. just want to see what you... I just know I wanted to see what dramatic meant. It was like... Is it like that? Is it like that? <laughs> uh, I think guys right on both those things. Nick, do you have any, any points to add to that? No, it's all right. I just I like to pick a song that's like meaningful too. Do you have a genre yeah. you like, Nick, or are you guys that you like to pose to over other specifically? Things? No, it's just if I like the song, I'm like oh, I want to pose to that. I'm gonna, that's what I do. I'll but, say this: if you can put, po- if you're a good poser, you can pose to anything. That's true. Yeah, I agree. I yeah. can. Uh, I'll, I'll say some bad mistakes I made, and then how I kind of learned. I fell into like what I like. I posed once to Beastie Boys. Um, get it together, I think it was something like that. Which I, I love Beastie Boys, but it's not a pose, it's not a bodybuilding song. Mm-hmm. So, just because I guess the point I'm trying to make is just because you love a song doesn't mean it's going to play well on stage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nick, are you there? Nick, Nick froze. Nick, are you there? Am I? You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so it's frozen. <laughs> oh, different than having them on in regular real life. Yeah, I know. Was, he'll, come, he'll, <laughs> he'll come back. Oh, you cracked me up, guy. You know what sucks? <laughs> I didn't. I shouldn't have played that. I hate the way I looked at that show. Yeah, but I mean, but you. I mean, as far as just you know, physiques aside, you, I think your guys' posing is almost identical. You yeah, guys actually, pose I was very watching it, and I actually could. Yeah. Yeah, you guys like are like both very artistic with your poses, and uh, you guys. I don't know. You just you have a good way of like of going with the beat, you know. When it's for some people, that's not that's not that easy. Like for you me, gotta it's have I feel like Fuad has rhythm. You can't do that. Yeah, with rhythm. I'm tone deaf. You could ask anyone that knows me. Yeah, I'm totally tone deaf. And like, uh, I have a buddy that used to like fucking like in the car like to rap songs. And I'm like, bro, you gotta stop. I'm like, you're so <laughs> off fucking beat. It's driving I'm, actually insane. That's me. That's totally me. I'm off on everything. I, and and uh, blows my mind. So I'm like, how can you be that off? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's actually a thing though. It's uh because my wife is my wife, she's got rhythm like Fuad, even maybe a little bit more. And like we'll be in the car and I'll be like tapping to a song and she's like, You're way the fuck off. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but uh I don't know. It's, it's so like I was never posing never came natural to me. Yeah, I think, no. um I think there's a few different things that you have to decide when you're picking a posing routine is no matter how much you like the song, can you pose to it? Because mm-hmm. there's lots of songs I love, but I can't. 
there's one really dramatic song I always wanted to pose to, but it's too fast. Which one? I, I, it's a French. It's a French name. I can't even remember right now. But it's too fast. The beat, the beat is hard, but it's too fast. And I'm like, yeah. this isn't going to look good in a routine. It's too fast. Yeah. yeah. So you have to be able to decide all these little things when you're trying to get ready for a for a contest and pick your pick your music my, and all that shit. My personal favorite is like some mixes. You know what I mean? Like start with some classical music and maybe mix into something. You know. I used to do that, and it's like mixing the music. I, I the older I got, the more I like to just let the song flow through. Yeah, really. I did that. I did that in uh, 2015 at both the shows I won. Yeah. I, mixed, I mixed Heart of Courage. <clears throat> That's what I should have played. I mixed Heart of Courage with. Uh, I think I mixed it with a Rob Bailey song, actually. It wasn't a rap. It was yeah, a, he did. That's yeah. right. I think it was, um, it was uh, Beast or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it was Heart of Courage and Beast I mixed together. So yeah. that was a good that was a good mix. Yeah, my yeah. My favorite <clears throat> I mixed together is actually, it might be on YouTube. I don't, I don't, it's not on my phone. I mixed George Michaels in the air tonight. And then I mixed Nonpoint in the air tonight, the same song, which is the metal band. And I mixed, I started slow. And then when the beat kicked in, the dun, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I kicked Nonpoint came in and it went right to metal. That's cool. Mean, yeah. Yeah. You mean that Phil Collins song in the air tonight? No, no, the, Michaels no the other, the yeah. other, yeah. the other classic song was called in the air tonight. No, I said George Michaels by accident. It's Phil Collins. Yeah. Oh, did you? Okay. That's, he saved you on that one, Paul. <laughs> I was gonna right, say, uh, yeah, I'm like, right. I'm like, is there another air tonight in the air tonight? That was, right. no, that, that's that what threw me off. He's, yeah. right. He said George Michael threw me off. That, that was the first. Um, what happened? First... He... What happened? Oh. I froze. <laughs> we thought you were still there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were there the whole time. Oh, um, yeah. Anyway, okay, let's move on. I wish so we didn't. What I miss? What I miss? Nothing. You wish you you missed me wishing that we didn't po- play our posing routines. Oh, why well, did all. great, man? No, nah, you did great. He says. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, um, do shorter bodybuilders like guy have it easier with shorter levers to build more muscle than taller guys? No, I. Oh, he's small. Look at him. <laughs> oh no, I don't think he's saying anything wrong. I think it's true. After you win, I'm gonna fucking smack the shit out of you. <laughs> no, the guys, the guys, right though. I mean, it's easier it's for you not, to squat. It's, it's easier it's for you to not. squat. Okay, but yes and no. Like, I don't. It, it, it's subjective because I don't have great genetics. People are like, well, you're a pro bodybuilder. That don't mean shit. My, gen- I don't have great genetics for bodybuilding. I just don't. No, that's so, not what we're talking about though. What we're saying is a shorter guy's gonna have an easier time squatting than a taller guy. Yeah. You said yeah. putting muscle. Yeah. No, no. That's why you said putting on muscle, too. Yes, I, I heard that, too. Okay, so as long as we're on the same fucking page. You I said muscle. Know. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So what's the question? Question. I deleted it. <laughs> <laughs> Reads the question, forgets it, argues, can't find it, and then it's gone. Good job. Gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I explain? Can I just explain myself tonight? Yeah, I have, I have, no, 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 just listen. I just want to apologize to anybody listening. I have so much shit going on right now that I just can't keep my fucking mind right. So I, I will get. We started I'm, a half hour podcast with a bad mic. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will get focused. I, I just, Jesus, fuck. Hey. I got blamed for hey. that one. Hey. Yeah, I know. I know. Thank we you, guys. You what is that? The heart. You don't know what this is. Oh. The fucking heart, Paul. Come on. You know what oh, that okay. is, you old ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out to date with these hand gestures. That guy. Okay, <laughs> let's start fresh. All right, here we go. Good, yeah. good, po- good podcast. All right. Yeah. Uh, you find out the end of the world is exactly one year away. What does the next year of your life look like? Oh man, eating a lot of ass and making a lot of bitches squirt. <laughs> is that your main focus? That will be. Uh, you got one year to live? If you had one year to live, how many girls could you take down? Well, I'm taking as many as I can get. But, re- but realistically, <laughs> no limit. No limit. But realistically, <laughs> but realistically, how many would would actually would you be able to bag in a year? I don't know, man. You want me to try? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we- I want to know. Keep a, keep a ticker for it. In the well, corner I'm, of the screen. I'm sure you have a. We should, eh? Every every. Yeah, I put a, I'll put, a awesome. chalk, put a chalkboard behind me. Yeah. And every yeah. week, every week it'll be like a couple extra notches. Sticks, yeah. <laughs> well, realistically, you should know like how what you think you could get done in a year. You should be able to, you know, I can I don't like to put a number on things. <laughs> the interesting thing would be if nobody else knew the world is gonna end in a year except for you, then how many could you bag? 
because was, because yeah. if everybody because if everybody knew, then the girls would probably just sleep with you anyway, just because it's like yeah. oh, I only got a year to go like, anyway. Who cares? But if nobody knew except you, then how many could you could you sleep with? That's the question. Well, that's my question. That's not that's not that question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm I'm not putting a number on things. Hmm. What do you think, Paul? Are you gonna lie? Gonna die with only one girl not squirting? Is that still gonna be your fucking go-to? <laughs> After the world, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I banged seven hundred and ninety-five girls and seven hundred and ninety-four squirted. <laughs> you know, squirting is just pee, right? Is it? Okay. It's like eighty percent piss. Yeah, really? it's a form of pee. <laughs> form so of you just made a. So you're the piss cake. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't, don't, don't ruin it. Don't call ruin Mark it. Kelly, buddy. Let's call don't Mark fuck, Kelly. Don't fucking ruin it. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm not. <laughs> How do you know it's 80 percent peak? I looked it up. Oh yeah, yeah. You want to check? Just... Yeah, yeah. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Paul, never, Paul never believes anything I say. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact check. What is squirt? Made up of. <laughs> <laughs> if I was Google, I would fucking hate you. <laughs> I'm like, this idiot can't even type English. <laughs> hey, mama. This is a pretty girl. No, but if I had a, a year, I would want to travel the world really right. Okay. Um, oh, okay. look at the doggy. <laughs> Let's see. You do what you know it. Myth busting. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's a website. It won't let me click click on anything. It's fine. That picture was the best. Was yeah. just, one second. What is squirting? Hey, man, click on that. Go ahead. One second. One second. So they're saying squirting is a volcano. <laughs> uh, oh, there you go. There's a highlighted area there. There it is. The present database on ultra. Sonographic bladder monitoring and biochemical analysis indicate that squirting is essentially the involuntary emission oh. of urine during sexual activity, although a marginal contribution of prostatic secretions to the to the emitted fluid often exists. So it's a little static. So it's, it's like so it's mostly piss and a little bit of other stuff. Look at keywords gushing. So Nick, the next time I see you, I'm just gonna <laughs> next time I see you, I'm just gonna piss on you and say I squirted. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, who's the squirting now, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, okay. So, Paul, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing if you had one year? The world's gonna end in a year. Oh fuck. Well, you know, I got a family. I got to think about. Um, I'll probably just try to take us on like a bunch of vacations or something before we go. <laughs> yeah, real nice on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, your wife's on like 30 vacations. No sense. There's no sense putting pressure on school and stuff on them, you know? So I would just try to enjoy it. Guy, you know what, what, what about you, guy? What are you doing? So the world's ending or, the, or I'm dying? No, the world's the ending world's in ending. one year. But you're the only one who knows. That's rough. I'm going well, on. I'm the only one who knows? I didn't know that. Well, I, think, I think it makes it more fun if you're the only one who knows. I, I, think uh, I'm taking, I think I'm taking my family to like an island for like the entire year and just fucking partying. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Huh. That's what I want to do. Like, like my house doesn't matter. My cars don't matter. I'll take, uh, I'll, fuck, I'll sell my house, anyway. take all yeah. my money out of my safe, take all the money out of my bank accounts and be like, we're fucking going and we ain't coming back. Yep. Yeah. Huh. That's what I, I don't know what I would do. Because uh, think about it. All the material stuff in your life doesn't matter anymore. So what's, what's, I would sell everything I have, keep, yep. get, get as much liquidity as I could and just be fucking gone. And just Spender. enjoy every fucking last minute I could do oh, it. Yeah, was, real, real, realistically, I'd probably want to travel the world. Would you guys still work out? No, I wouldn't give a fuck. I don't care. Yeah, that, I'm like, fuck it. You might as well just enjoy life now. Right, yeah. I'd be drunk every day. <laughs> every day? <laughs> You'd what? I would drink every night. I'd have like, a couple. Like, get hammered or drink? No, like, I would get drunk every night. <laughs> really? I or, don't know. Or, or high. I, get I would do that. I would do not, that. Would do but that. not yeah, not with weed. I would like, I would have fun. Yeah. No, I mean, oh, you could get into some like hard shit for that. I think I would go to like fucking a buying off fucking shooting. Doing some rails. No, I would just yeah. I would go, go to like a fucking few after hours clubs. 
Yeah, <laughs> after <laughs> hours clubs. You're 42 years old. What yeah, but who cares? Through. The world's going to end. I just hang out with a bunch uh, of 18 year olds. You look like an asshole. Who gives a shit? You're gonna. We're all going to die in a year. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, I guess. if the world was going to die, if the, if the end, world was going to end in a year. So what are you saying? If the world's going to end in a year, and I want to have a blast and go to a fucking rave, or go to some fucking huge but concert, you would have fun there. Why wouldn't I have fun? I'd be high. Well, well, I'd, I'd be high. So yeah, I would, I would dye my beard and get fucking and get like hair plugs so I look a lot younger. <laughs> yeah, I'd take some of that money and fucking fill in the old gaps. Yeah. So, that shit takes a while. Though. Oh, wait a second. I, I don't understand, Paul. So if the world's going to end. I don't, get, fall now. I don't get to go have fun? No, no. Sorry. No, you get to have fun. Absolutely. I just, man, you probably, would, you, you probably wouldn't have fun at this age in a nightclub with a bunch of kids. <clears throat> I'm talking about like a massive concert. It's not going to be all kids. Like talking like a like a like a, like a music festival or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'd have fun at one of those. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm not talking about like, like thought you meant like boom boom room or something. You know. I'm not talking about the dance floor. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about like boom boom. It was a bar you the went to a long time ago. <laughs> I'm not talking about like an 18 year old club. I'm talking about a, a fucking like a music festival. Oh, I was picturing like a Windsor nightclub. Sorry. Oh. Um, yeah, I would go to like a music festival. That'd be great. What? What? Huh? What kind of nightclub? I thought you're talking. I was thinking like a Windsor nightclub where we live. Okay, can we move on? And they're like <laughs> shitty <laughs> clubs. Uh, okay, let's move on. <laughs> Would you rather have lived the Rock's life or the Arnold's life? The who? The Rock's life Rock or the Arnold Arnold's life? Arnold, be governor. Fuck governor! I'll be the Rock. Oh, fuck! You get to be Mr. Olympia plus a, the best actor in the world, and then you're governor of California. What more do you want out of life? Okay, you can be Arnold. I'll be the Rock. You and you're married Arnold, to a Kennedy. You say the Arnold is the best actor in the world. Well, best actor. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far, Paul. Was... Well, best known. Best known action actor. You think the Arnold is known more than The Rock? In his heyday, in his prime. Dude, the Rock. The Rock is going to be president in five years. Fuck that! No, he won't. Yeah, dude, The Rock is he probably could be if you The wanted Rock. To be. So the popular. Rock. The Rock right now, I yeah. think, is more well known than Arnold was at his prime. But is that because? But is that because now though there's social media things like that that make people more famous? Or you think it's just he's had more star power? Arnold maybe, also, maybe, maybe, but it's not relevant. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. You think, he's got, you think he has more charisma than Arnold? Yes. Yes. No, I don't think so. I think I think Arnold had more charisma. Why didn't you say it that way then? Why don't you say, I think he had more charisma? Why'd you ask us if you don't if you disagree? <laughs> Why did you ask the question? <laughs> like, know, you, what you, why are you trying to <laughs> sideline us, Paul? I want, to, I want to hear your opinion. Why are you I trying to sideline us? The Rock, definitely has, <laughs> the, Rock, the Rock definitely has more charisma. I don't think so. I think Arnold had more charisma. Arnold had personality. I mean, The Rock does too, for sure. You're you're like a, a fucking diehard bodybuilding fan. That's why you're saying that. Yeah. But if, if Arnold, you could, but if you could step out of your bodybuilding self for five minutes, you know what? I, I think you would see that The Rock is like maybe if The Rock was a former bodybuilder <laughs> instead of a former wrestler, maybe I'd lean that way. But you're right. I am. It doesn't, it doesn't matter that guy. What do you think? Do you think The Rock is more yeah. charismatic than Arnold? Yes. Nick. Yeah. Nick. I do, but I'm still picking Arnold. Well, you'd rather have Arnold's life, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. But you think The Rock is more charismatic? I do. Do you think The yeah. Rock? Do you think The Rock is more popular than Arnold? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's hard to compare eras like that. I don't think it's hard to compare eras. Yeah, mm-hmm. because now you got a bigger like stars have a bigger like uh, like audience kind of now. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He has more resources to be more popular. Yeah. But the po- yeah. bottom the bottom line, Arnold, so the bottom Arnold. the bottom line is the Rock is more popular regardless of why. But if you would have put popular. Arnold in his in his prime today, I but think he's he not. Be- but he's not. I'm just saying, like regardless of all of that, the Rock is more popular regardless of why he's more popular. He's more popular. Okay. It doesn't matter. You're just saying like. Well, if the Rock was, if the Arnold was, if Arnold was now, then he'd be more popular than the Rock. But he's not. So we're going with what the facts are. Okay. Fine. Right. Facts are yes. you're wrong, Paul. Yes, I guess I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but just, so you would take Arnold's life? Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm still taking Arnold's life. Yeah. yeah. I'm a, I'm a look what the man's guy. done. Look, look at all the things the guy's done. Look how what's he done? Sexy the Rock is. He's governor of California. That's it. Right. That's it. What else has he done that The Rock hasn't done? <laughs> Mr. Olympia? Yeah, well, The, Rock is, one of, the Rock is the Rock's like a Hall of Fame wrestler. Okay. Um, and a college Arnold, player. Arnold, Arnold made more movies than The Rock, I'm sure. 
of maybe to this point, but I don't think you're totally right about that either. I think I am. I think you're not. Can we Google it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate Google. <laughs> Why? Yeah, Alexa, don't you feel it? That's, That's all Alexa. we do on here is Google now. Well, the only way to prove people fucking fool yeah. right wrong. Yeah. Sixty. No, made, 60, 63. Made, hold on, hold on. Made and Binning are different, Thwed. Yeah. He said 63. I think it knows what I mean. Okay, how about Arnold? No, you said the wrong made. Being. Being. <laughs> <laughs> <Bien. laughs> wow. What Same dictionary answer. do you use? <laughs> it's still 63. Okay. <laughs> I did just change the rock just to, to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Thanks. <laughs> Listen, you haven't been that good with Google, so don't sit here and act like uh see Paul, what? you're off. <laughs> wow. Do they count everything, even as a early career? Don't try yeah, and get out of it. You Paul, you didn't say one word when the rock had 63. Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised. Now I was surprised. Like, oh, 57, you want to get all I was surprised. <laughs> okay, so basically, so all that all the all that Arnold has over the rock is he was governed. What do you mean all that he had? That's a huge thing. Yeah, but the fucking rock's only like 50. He could still be governor, he could still be president. He hasn't shown an interest in politics, I don't think. No, he not true. Not not, not true. To, to vote for fucking Biden. <laughs> yeah, but he... Um, and why does but, that mean anything anyway? Maybe he doesn't want to be in politics. He gives a shit. Well, I'm just saying, like, he's not probably not going to accomplish that. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, if he doesn't want to be governor, he gives a shit anyway. Well, I don't care if he wants to be governor. I'm just saying, like, we're trying to compare what Arnold's done that he hasn't done. So... All right. I'll be the rock. You can be Arnold. We'll hang out. We'll hang out. I'll be Arnold. You be Franco. <laughs> oh, it's the other way around. No. <laughs> <laughs> when did you all? Uh, if you guys could switch bodies for a day, who would each of you choose, and what would you do? Amongst the four of us, I guess. Nick, twenty-six. I don't want to be any of you. <laughs> I don't blame you, Nick. I can't stay in your body. You're all old and broken. Yep. Guy. Okay. Out of everybody here? Yeah. It's obvious. Me? Paul. <laughs> Paul, yeah. Thanks, <laughs> thanks guy. You, you saw my bodybuilding pictures. <laughs> oh, fucking Nick. He's young. I don't know yeah. what his insides look like, but Nick, who you switch bodies with? <laughs> Nick. Huh? You, have to, you have to pick one. I have to pick one? You have to pick one. I know he's going to say guy. I was going to say guy. I knew really? Because <laughs> guy's the youngest? Out of us three? Why? Why'd you pick guy? He always, at, when it comes to me, he always asks. No, because Paul was guessing. So I, if, 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 Nick, if you would have chose who he wouldn't have asked why. No, that's or not true. Paul, he would have let it slide. Now he wants to know. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was I was going to move on. I was going to move on. I was going so to Why did question. you stop? Why did you stop? Because Paul said something. He said, why? Because of whatever. And I was like, oh, yeah, it's interesting. Why? So as Paul started it, I wasn't going to yeah, say why. I did. I did start it. I'm just curious to know why. He's the second youngest. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's such a fucking cop out answer, Nick. Yeah. I, what I, if we're all, what, uh, Nick, Nick, Nick? How about if we're, what if we're all the same age? Paul's just trying. Paul's just, Paul's just trying to get Nick to pick him. That's <laughs> no. <laughs> move on. I'm a judge, Nick. Paul, just take the L, okay? Take the L. <laughs> all right. He picked guy. You got. You lost. That's all he's doing. All right. Uh, if you got stranded on the island and had to bring three other people, would who would you bring? <laughs> That's it. If you had stranded on an island, you had to bring three other people. Who would you bring? You know, who I would pick this podcast is going to fucking end real quick. So that's that's his answer. What? Who who would I pick? You don't have any pick, choice. You got to pick your wife. I no, mean, it doesn't. I don't think he means on the podcast. Ah, oh, okay. I bring the rock. <laughs> <laughs> For what? Well, he's got he's got resources. Somebody got somebody's got to save the rock. He's got a ton of money too. <laughs> somebody's gonna want to come save the rock, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> if it's just me and you, guy, don't care. We're gonna die on the fucking <laughs> island. But if I have but if I have the rock, someone's gonna send a fucking plane, private jet, right? So I, the rock is one, and it doesn't matter the other, other two. We can just oh. say we can we can we can have. A you plan. have to say the other two. Okay, fine. My wife and my mom and the rock. Uh, not me. No, not you. Who are you gonna train with? You just fucking, you annoy the fuck out of me. for this. Oh, we're, on a, we're, on a, we're on an island. There's no fucking training. You need me. There's no, no way you can You go. need me. Nah. 
The Rock is going to save us all, and then I'll train with you again when I get back. Yeah, you'd be a basket case without me. <laughs> Could you imagine Fuad like lost on an island? Like he'd have a panic attack and die. He'd be the first one dead. <laughs> I'd be the I would be the most resourceful one. You would lose complete composure. No. You, I think under pressure in a situation like that, you would fucking just collapse. No. Definitely <laughs> so wait, not. You really? Definitely so not. If, if, if I dropped you on an island or like in the middle of a forest, you'd be good. Like that game. Survivor. I'm I'm positive. If you drop me anywhere, I would end up being okay. <laughs> anywhere in the world, you can't hunt. Have you ever gone hiking or hunting or fishing or? Anything? I will figure. I'll figure it out. No. Figure it out. I will. <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely listen. He, he I'm, pulling, I'm pulling 100% Nick on this one. If you put me anywhere, I will figure out how to survive. No phone? Doesn't matter. Listen, I haven't been the cockiest asshole on this podcast. I have not been the most confident person. Nick is usually the guy who's like, ah, I can do anything I want. In this, in this scenario, if you put me anywhere in the fucking world, I will figure it out. Sorry. I'm just saying. You guys don't, you guys don't have to believe me. We should start a GoFundMe and just send him fucking to the middle of nowhere. Send me wherever. It doesn't isn't, there, isn't there a show that does that? Survivor? I didn't say like hey, I didn't say I would I live there. Naked and afraid. I didn't say I would live there. I would find my way back to wherever the fuck I wanted to. How would you eat, drink? How would yeah. you know where to go? Yeah. You know how I, to tell North, South, East, West by the stars? Listen. I will find a way, is all I'm saying. I'm not going to sit in a corner somewhere. I'm not going to sit under a tree and cry myself to death. That's not going to happen. No, I will find. I will find a way to survive. You'll just walk. You'll just walk until complete dehydration and you collapse. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Or you'll eat something that's poisonous and die. That's a possibility. <laughs> that's a possibility. <Yeah. laughs> that might happen. I can't. I can't say that wouldn't happen. <laughs> What are you? Why are you fucking sitting there laughing, Paula? Fuck you! Can't even. You got scared of a spider the other day when your wife told you to kill it. Yeah, you fucking. No, I, I, I'm not saying it. I, I know. I, I know. I couldn't survive. There's no way. I'm a, there's no way. Nick, if someone dropped you anywhere in the world, could you survive? No. 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 <laughs> so you know for sure if somebody dropped you where? Where would somebody drop you if they didn't ever want to see you again? I don't fucking know. Well, I'm just saying you got to have an idea. Like where I, would? I, I normally wouldn't pick the place. Like here, just drop me here. Guy, did you grow up? Is there anywhere in the world someone could drop you and you wouldn't survive? A uh, guy can hunt. Pretty good, bro. I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I really don't know. I'd want to be with a guy. Like, I I, not a forest. A forest, I would be fine. Yeah. I don't think I'd be fine. That would probably be the easiest for me. I'd probably die. Me too. I'd die fast. <laughs> <laughs> I would die in a desert before I died in a forest. Anybody, everybody would. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I would die in a forest. Well, yeah, probably, but I, I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make it either. I wouldn't last long. Paul would just should, eat sand until he died. I think we should. I try wouldn't it. even try. I, I wouldn't even try. I would just sit there and give off smoke signals or something. Try hope someone can find me. Where are you gonna get the smoke from? I build a fire or something. You can't build a fire. I can build a fire for whoever. Well, all you'd be doing in the forest is smoking all the leaves, trying to hold one of them's fucking pot. Yeah, I would try that because I'd want to. I'd want to cope with my reality. <laughs> but starting uh, all, start all the mushrooms you find. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares if they're deadly or not? At that point, I'm going to die anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Licking toads, whatever. Oh god. All right, let's do one bodybuilding question for fuck's sakes. <laughs> what are the best exercises? To bring your chest up, improve also for triceps. Bed press, incline barbell press. Okay. Any incline dumbbell barbell? Smith. Yeah, it's kind of a broad question, which yeah. is surprising because the guy competes. Well, maybe his upper chest. Um, like. Hex presses are very good for upper pec shelf incline. Is that what he's asking like for? Those? For upper? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. We've been doing that lately. <laughs> We've been doing them lately, me and Fuad. I like them too. Is that like a an ending? Four presses are really good too. I like them. I like finishing or starting with them, Nick. Do you? Yeah, because I don't I don't do them heavy. I usually do them with like a six, 60 pound dumbbell or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just yeah. It, it's a good way to get because I feel like when you're starting, it's a good way to start because you're you're kind of together. You're not open and vulnerable. Yeah, right. So it's a good way to get everything kind of warmed up and still be safe. 
Yeah. And it's okay. also it's also a good finisher because you're fucking pumped as fuck and you've got this like really this, good yeah. really good yeah. contraction. So I think too if your if your shoulders are uh tight or sore or beat up, it's it takes a lot of stress off your shoulders. Yeah. I saw you um, doing today, guy, in your uh in your Instagram. Yeah, was, yeah, 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 I saw that's what I just saw. Yeah. yeah, you're doing uh floor presses too, eh? You like those? I love floor presses. Yeah, yeah. We're you do them with a uh, a Smith or like a or dumbbells. I do it with a barbell or dumbbells. Dumbbell. Uh, first cycle, stick to just test or test and something small with it. Test. Uh, yeah. Well, it depends you know, on what you're doing. You test a little okay, wait, wait, wait. Just one at a time. Okay, guy, go ahead. You can do test deck, test deck, a uh, little bit of D ball or test a little bit of D ball or just test. Yeah, but you just said like five things. If somebody can do that, I'm saying you can go either way. Either way is pretty okay for a beginner if you do this small amount. So the way I would say it is, if you're if you're just want to dabble, just go test. And if you want to be a little more aggressive, I would do test with something like an Antibar or Primo or an EQ. Yeah, that's good advice, I think. Nick, uh, my yeah, I would just say if start with yeah. Test. So whenever anybody says like, how much should I do? Should I stack this? Should I stack that? Should I if, how, how much should I do? The, the thing is, a lot of that is depending on how aggressive you want to be, man. Mm -hmm. Like it's not. It's not up to me to tell you how much gear you should take. Yeah. You, ha you have to decide for yourself how aggressive do I want to be? How you also have to decide how fast you want to start taking a certain amount because once you take that certain amount, you're going to always be there. Yeah. So, like Nick just said, you want to get the most out of a low dose before you start increasing into higher doses. I, I mean, I think a lot of guys, most cycle that I know in bodybuilding just was literally straight test, usually just sus. My first cycle was just sus enough. Yeah, that was mine. Yeah. I did one shot assessed a week. Yeah. Same thing. Mine was suspension back in the day. Test suspension. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. It was my first, it, first it thing good. I tried. It was, it was good back then, though. Oh, yeah, it was great. It came in those big 30cc <laughs> jugs. Uh, what food gives you the most indigestion? Uh, spicy. Spicy. I was going to say spicy, too. Spicy. Uh, yeah. Thick. The lactose. Spicy for me. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a person dependent, obviously. Yeah, dairy. but usually foods with a lot of garlic, a lot of onion. Yeah, um, garlic doesn't be... bother me. Onion no? don't bother me. Spicy bothers me. Yeah. Okay. Like hot spicy, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Uh, motivation for the last two weeks of prep. The fucking show is your fucking motivation. What do you mean? Why get into the tumble at that point? That's a show. Right the show is your motivation, man. You, this is your motivation. You're going to go on stage in your underwear in two weeks, and if you look like shit, people are going to laugh at you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That was always my that was always my motivation. Anybody else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree. 100%. Paul? I meant that uh, guy? I never needed motivation or, like, YouTube videos or anything, any of that shit to get me motivated. No, never. No. No, I know. But what I'm asking you is, is the fear of being shitty all the motivation you needed? The fear of not fucking winning and yeah. not doing my best. Yeah. 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 Not belonging, you know, the fear of like looking like you don't belong up there. Yeah. Last two weeks, you, it's like you should be doing every fucking little thing possible to be your best. Like, yeah. You know? Who is someone outside the realm of bodybuilding that it, that is inspired you to push further in life? Is there somebody outside of bodybuilding, Nick, that has inspired you to do something? My mom and dad. That's a good one. Is there somebody else? Yeah, is, there a, is there another personality that's not a bodybuilder or in bodybuilding that's inspired you? I could say Matt Jansen, but he's in bodybuilding. He's in bodybuilding, yeah. Guy, do you have one? I mean, I was going to say my parents, but I think that's kind of obvious. But uh... Paul, do you have one while well, Guy thinks? Uh, Jordan Peterson. He's inspired you? Yeah. To do what? Clean your room? Yeah. Be a better person. Be a better man. Jordan, Jordan Peterson. Is he? Wait. He's, a, he's, um, a, he's a, just a lecturer, I guess you'd say. He's, he's not a lecturer. lecturer. He's an excuse. He's, he's, he's a clinical. He's a clinical psychologist. Yeah. In Toronto. Oh, okay. That's doing a lot of lectures currently on personal responsibility, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, I guess you could. I mean, yeah, I guess that could be inspirational. Guy, you think of one yet or no? I'm going to say Mike Tyson. Michael Jordan. Um, oh, okay. So, the, okay, okay. Well, like when I watch The Last Dance, for example, 
Yeah. Watching somebody excel at such a fucking high level and be such a perfectionist and, and such a competitor is fucking inspiring to me. Yeah. Over uh, that I, level. Wasn't thinking, I wasn't even. Well, thinking. it's anybody. It's anybody. He's saying it's anybody, thinking, right? Like, it could be, I wasn't thinking sports. I was like, thinking sports. Like, he, he, used, he used David Goggins as one, which is, I think, is a great one, too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Jocko. Yeah. Anybody? Uh, I, would, I would I would say Sylvester Stallone a little bit because I watched so many. I got ins- really inspired by those Rocky movies. As fucking stupid as it sounds, yeah. His story too. Didn't he make? Didn't he write Rocky? And then he like yeah. Didn't sell I, it? I, his, he, wrote, he wrote the first one, didn't he? Yeah. And all of them, I think. Because if you go back, I remember years ago there was an. Uh, I think it was a biography they did on him, like uh, like a whole special about how the whole Rocky thing started. And I I watched it over and over because the fucking biography of it was awesome. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, wasn't it like he wouldn't sell the script to anybody unless he they let sell him the start? And like they thought he was too dumb to do it because of how he sounded, and they didn't want him in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, Nick, yeah. you have one. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, Kobe Bryant. Okay. It's a good one. Guys, stop. Okay, we'll do a couple more. It's ten fifteen. Um, jeans or khakis? Jeans or khakis. You don't know what khakis oh. like cargo pants? I love cargo pants. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? Well, cargo pants? Not really. Nineteen. No, they're, they're not. They're <laughs> the same. I'm hoping they come back. I love cargo pants. My God. You like having you like having a pocket by your knee? I find them very yeah. I've got extra well, stuff in there. Is it Car- because cargo, cargo shorts? I can see cargo pants. Yeah, is, yeah, those two. Is it because but, the, is it because the pocket beside your knee makes your quad look bigger? No, no. It's because it fits my phone perfectly, who had. That pocket's just right from my phone, and then it's usually got. He uses he uses that pocket as a wallet. You yeah. actually use you actually use the pocket. Oh yeah, it's right, and then it usually has a Velcro on it, so your phone doesn't fall out. You're such a wow. Dad. Do you have those fucking old man Velcro shoes too, Paul? <laughs> You're such a fucking dad. It's hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna say jeans. I like jeans. I, I hate jeans. jeans. I'm going jeans. I hate jeans. Guy? But they gotta be. The, they can't be the jeans that like. I they gotta have a little st- stretch to them. Guy, yeah. jeans, jeans or khakis. Jeans. Okay. Um, who do you think is your classic physique counterpart and why? Counterpart? <laughs> well, I'll be hard on Nick. It's kind of a difficult question. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. What does that mean? Like someone Ar- whose physique looks uh, like yours? Arnold in his prime or Arnold in his prime or Bumstead? Bumstead. Bumstead. Oh? Uh, Arnold in his prime? Or Chris Bumstead. Chris, Dude, did look, Bumstead. Chris did look great this year. I thought this year he uh just say yeah, one of the other Chris. Chris. No, Arnold. 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 Arnold going Arnold. Physique or Arnold in his prime. Are you saying Arnold in his prime? Yeah. Over Chris. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. Are you talking about his career or just his physique? No, no, no. Physique. Oh, Chris. 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 Arnold didn't even really have legs. Paul, what are you doing? I'm a classic guy. Yeah, no legs either. What was, what was Bumstead? Yeah, Bumstead is classic. Yeah. <laughs> I meant old school is what I should have said. Guys. Um, would you rather have one? Uh, all right, let's do it. What? Would you rather have one Olympia or be a YouTube fitness influencer and have a million subscribers? And Olympia. have it. One Olympia. Olympia. Mm-hmm. I'd rather have one Olympia. Oh, you for what? I said one Olympia. Uh, have either of you used intermittent fasting to cut, or have you no. seen better results results of carb cycling? Carb cycling. Carb cycling. Would you Carbs. rather Would you rather win ten Mister Olympias and be the new guy with the most Sandows for the foreseeable future, or win just one sand, Sandow, but also win the lottery? I don't know what the fuck this means. Ten, ten Sandows. Next, next um, question. Yeah. Deadlifts without a belt or. With for an overall back development, deadlifts okay. with or deadlifts with or without a belt for overall back development. I wear a belt. I don't think wearing a belt is going in, to. In, I was going to say I don't know why those two are connected. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Would, wouldn't your lower back though uh, not develop as much wearing a belt? No. As it would without? No. 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 It's not, it's not so assisting. It's not assisting. No, that was belt. Assisting. But, you know, but you guys, it's, it's giving support to your vertebrae. It's, that's what. It does. Yeah. After you shit, do you wipe on the side or underneath? What? what? Yeah, you asked me that before. On the side. 
What do you mean aside? I don't know. I didn't write the question. <laughs> I think they mean. Oh, like, I think he's asking if you go front to back or back yeah. to front. Yeah. Oh, I go back to front. Yeah. Who goes front to back? It's gross. We get back, James go, goes wait a minute. Front? Wait a minute. You go back to front. Who no. I don't say that you better wait a shut up your balls. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm trying to figure out what you mean. So you wipe from the back, but you wipe down forward from from balls up. Oh, yeah, 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 back. Yeah, yeah you yeah, went yeah, back. Yeah. Balls up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Balls up. Yeah. Balls up. <laughs> that explains it. Balls up. Okay. Yeah, that's that's how I wipe. Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't end near the sack. You end no. near the fucking uh, you tailbone. Yeah, shut your balls. Okay. okay, thank you. You don't want yeah, shit balls. Weird. Would no, you... Shit balls. <laughs> would you rather lose... What? Every question he pauses, he goes... What? <laughs> Would you rather? Because it's written fucked up. It says, "Would you rather lost yourself and please everyone you lose love, yourself. or please yourself and lost everyone?" I don't. No. One more time. No, I'm not. No, I'm not reading. No. Um, <clears throat> favorite workout headphones. Beat mixers. Next. Bose, Bose Sports. I like my little buds. My ears are too big for buds. Yeah. I got these ones. They stick in my ears good. No, they got a wire, so I can't I'm all about them. the beats by Dre. These satellite dishes need a little fucking... <laughs> you guys all do the headsets, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like... Like, this bugs me after a little while. No. No? Would you, would you rather be a billionaire but never weight train again or be mid-tier pro for 15 to 20 years with no injuries? Is this serious anymore? What is people just... Who doesn't want to be a billionaire? Yeah. <laughs> Even I would pick billionaire. <laughs> would you rather have been a famous child actor or a men's physique pro who's, writing, who's writing these questions <laughs> who the fuck are we a childhood new, actor we need new fans. Or, a men's, or a men's what is it we need new fans bro I think, yeah. <laughs> I think they're fucking with us guy I think they're fucking with us man I'm serious um, how to cure Latin? Oh, for fuck's sake! Would you rather bang Mickey Mouse or Daffy Duck? It's like this is what we're talking about at this point. <laughs> okay, this is a good one. We'll finish on this. What is the one thing you think the world of bodybuilding is missing right now, or part of the sport you miss? What is one thing the world of bodybuilding is missing right now? And then we'll go because I got to take a piss. I, got I think exactly what's missing, in my opinion, is what me and Blessing are doing. Mm, the rivalry kind gonna, of thing. I was going to say storylines and like. I was gonna say, the you know, most. The, there's, there's like no hype. In. I was no gonna say, line. I was gonna say what I'm doing, because that's the most selfish answer I could think of, and I, I believe it. I think it's the guest well, podcast. Appearance. I think the podcast is the fucking, and I'm not saying. Okay, this that sounds really fucking arrogant. Nick, but, you want to start our own no, podcast tomorrow? Nick, you okay. want to start a podcast tomorrow? Okay, this sure. sounds this sounds really arrogant, but. I think the podcast was one thing bodybuilding. One thing. I'm not saying the only thing. There's one thing bodybuilding is missing because all you guys get to be known by people now, like more so than just characters on fucking Instagram and shit. I don't, people, in that aspect, I, I agree. I was talking more toward the competitive purpose. Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, thinking. but I but I think personally that grows. Okay, this is why <laughs> I think there's a lot of people that watch this show that are just normal people because I get the DMs all the time. People say yeah, yeah. I don't even follow bodybuilding, but I watch the podcast. So I think the podcast is exposing normal people to bodybuilders and showing them that we're not fucking assholes yeah, or, yeah, yeah, or yeah. you know, arrogant fucks Uneducated or whatever. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. I think no, I, agree. I think it's a really good thing because somebody might go watch the New York Pro now that wasn't ever going to watch it because they're like, hey, I know Nick. Nick does that podcast. He's really funny. I like him. Yeah, so yeah. They'll, go, they'll go watch the New York Pro now because they know you better now. Yeah. I whereas, agree. whereas before those people would have never known you and the people that did know you were like some people were like oh he's just a crazy freak that lifts a ton of weight they didn't actually know you know what i mean so i think it's like i think it was something that was missing because people are like are you, are you right you know it's yeah. like when i did the blessing i did i had blessing on a podcast right my favorite thing was reading the comments after and seeing people go oh i thought he was a dick but he's actually nice or i thought he hated <laughs> nick no 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 yeah. but he was like no seriously though people were like i thought he hated nick but he's yeah. just he's just trying to make make it fun. Yeah. No, he is. Like I think people like learn more about the guys, and I think that's the thing that was missing. Yeah, I do think that's a very important part. Yeah. So, I think anyway, 
Uh, one thing I missed for that, I missed the whole like guest poser, guest appearance kind of thing that the sport yeah. doesn't have anymore. Like Nick, like Nick, you said that you don't, you're not a guest posing yet, right? I think I just booked my first one. Okay, cool. But like, you know, years ago, like Nick would have been probably booked, you know. Yeah, but you know what? You know what? Even though he booked one, I, I, I think you're saying it because of the pandemic, right? No, it's more, no, no, because even before that, because shows are more than just bodybuilding now. So the okay. guest poser, I mean, I'm talking about the kind of amateur, amateur shows right now. I used to look forward to seeing like, you know, your top pros guest pose at a lot of the shows that I judge. But the and thing is, kind of gone away now. The well, thing is, even, even when they do have them though, the reason it's the same the, effect. Yeah. The reason it's not as good, but there's a reason why though, because every it's because of stuff like this, right? I know. And I'm, I'm just saying I miss it. No, 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 I know. I agree with you. I'm just saying like why it's not here anymore is because yeah. Back in the day, guest posing was super fucking impressive and super popular because nobody ever got to hear or see their fucking favorite pros. Yeah. Right, right. They only, they only could see them in the magazine. Now you could see them on Facebook, Instagram, podcasts, fucking. Yeah. So but, when they show up, when they show up to a show, you're like, I just saw him yesterday on his Instagram. It's no big deal. Right. Yeah. Right. right. We're back in those days. You see pictures of them in a magazine when they're in contest shape only. So you go mm -hmm. see a guy at a guest posing appearance, he'd be 40 pounds bigger and even more impressive because, you know, he's not shredded, but mm -hmm. you just see how big these guys are, you know? And I, I, I just miss that about the sports. All I'm saying. Yeah. Guy, anything? I uh, just storylines. Storylines meaning how? Like what? 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 Do like you mean? there's no like rivalries. There's no hype. There's no like. I don't. I don't think that's true. I absolutely think it's true. But Tampa yeah. Bay, like Tampa, is a small show, right? But everybody was anticipating Tampa just because of of uh, Hunter and and Ian. I haven't even. Yeah. Heard, uh, you say that I haven't heard one thing hyped about it. No, no, no. But at the time, Last year. Was, I'm saying the show's over oh. now. But like. At the time, people were like, "Oh man, I can't wait to the yeah, Tampa." I think, like, like, okay, I think, and then the same thing, and then the same thing happened at the Olympia because they're like, "Oh, Ian mm -hmm. fucking won New York, and now he's going to meet Hunter again, or who's going to win?" And yeah, but that's a big deal, right? You're comparing two athletes compared to a fucking slew of pro bodybuilders, like we we don't have that excitement really that much. Like the Olympia, was there really like? any like rivalries or this or like i excitement. think so i think you're no, overlooked i think you're no, no, there wasn't there wasn't i think you're really. i think you're overlooking some things. <laughs> so yeah but i'm a fan you don't have to be there to know what the storylines were i mean dexter was retiring phil was coming back but could, I, that, could that, brandon I, could brandon retain his title is yeah. is rami finally gonna fucking kill it uh is, is hunter is hunter things. those are individuals Indiv i'm talking about hype people like Nick Blessing, like the like like uh, Jay Ronnie lunch for you're talking race. about rivalries specifically. I said that yeah. too, and but I said story. There's no story, like there's no big like rival storylines where like there there's no hype be behind anything. No, wait a minute. Those two things are different. Is all I'm saying. Like well, the storylines are all the storylines I just gave you. The rivalries are totally different. You're right. There's not a lot of rivalries. I meant I meant rivalry storylines. Yeah, yeah. There's not a lot of rivalries, but it's because it's, it's times are different, man. Which it's like. Guys are trying to people. People complain you can't win. It's like if there's too much rivalry, a whole bunch of pe piece of the public well, will hey. be like, people will be like, oh, bodybuilding's not what it used to be. It used to be so much camaraderie. Look at all these guys. All you do is fight now. And then if you do, if you don't have any rivalries, and people are like, oh, it's so boring. There's no rivalries. It's like you can't win. You can't win, right? So like all we can do is hype like one show at a time. We did the hunter, yeah. hunter Ian thing. Now we're doing the blessing nick thing like you're trying to create stuff that way but like i it's weird to me because people want to see us all get along but then they also want to see drama they want to see us back yeah, yeah so it's like how the fuck do you win right it's like it, it's like you can't, friendly, though. it's like you're not allowed to play a, a, a one movie role and then another movie role you can't be the good guy in this movie and the bad guy in yeah. that movie they get mad yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you guys think it's changed a little bit too? Like, remember back in the '90s, like there was less shows, less pro shows, so the lineups were kind of stacked. You get like you know ten really strong guys at every show. Now there's more shows, so you might get like three or four top guys in a show, but it's a little bit diluted now. Oh, the past couple of years, are, like the past two years, that three years, I haven't been a ton of bodybuilding shows. No, because last, last year for sure, Guinea, sure, fine, but open, open at two twelve, bro, no. But Before isn't that? But isn't that? Isn't that better? I think no, it's better he said in a way. A lot, but it's really not. But was there before last year though, with all the pandemic stuff? Bro, the most two twelve shows I think I remember were like eleven or twelve. Is that a lot? I think so. Fucking twelve month period. I don't know. Like, how many shows did they have back in the nineties? You guys, any idea? 
No. Well, it depends, man. Because the guys in the nineties count the Grand Prix as like one True. one show. Yeah. Like they'll be they'll go from the Olympia and they'll do a Grand Prix. There's like three shows on the weekend. Yeah. And they'll say I did four shows. I'm like, yeah, but it was really just two weekends. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's not qual- I don't, maybe the qualifications were different back then too. Like maybe you had to, your qualifications for going back to the Olympia were a little yeah. bit less, you know. Well, that know. well, at least when I first started bodybuilding, top three went through the L. Oh yeah. Oh, it'd be top three in a in a in a in a any show in a regular. That's right. Yeah, that's any right. Show. And then they made it. You had to win a show. Now you do. Or have the points, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. It's been a long, long time now. So. <laughs> Twitch tapped out. I'm fucking. <laughs> uh, you know what? I apologize if this is a shit episode. Get, today. get ready. Get, guys, it's a good episode for Get ready for the text <laughs> message. Get yeah. ready for it. <laughs> was, that shit? was that shit? <laughs> you, guys, honestly, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Was this podcast shit? <laughs> <laughs> Should I delete it? Should I just delete it? <laughs> Should I delete it? Can we do another one? Okay. Another in, one? In, my, in my defense, I've never deleted a single podcast. No, but you threatened weekly. Uh, I don't, like threat, I don't threat. That's not threatening. I'm asking. Yeah, you're threat. like, no, you're, you're like you have it. He, he's like, he's like a PMS. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you, you never throw one out. I've never deleted a single podcast. I've actually, <laughs> there's two, two podcasts I've done that didn't air and only for technical reasons, not because I actually deleted them. So I've never, Hey man, when you care about something, you want to be perfect. That's all. It's not, it's not a fucking problem. You're perfectionist. Right guy. Yes. When right. you go, when you go on stage, you worry about your shit, right? Goddamn right. Right. So this is my state. Right. <laughs> <Is that right? laughs> yeah, sir, Joel Sargent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go away now. I don't you know, you I can't. got him. You got him on the ropes. <laughs> I can't win with you. Never. When are you going to dye your beard? When you, when we, do you want to talk the bet? Yeah, Thursday, the bet, bet's no, on. That's such fucking bullshit why What's the, bet? Uh, the bet is if guy do, 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 do the grant do the do the masses know what thursday is no don't say anything okay well so you can't say but that's it. paul but, the bet wait did paul know about the bet no, this, is, this is the bet guy okay. can't keep his mouth shut for five minutes <laughs> no, that's a statement. That's not that's a statement. That's not a statement. I bet I bet I bet I bet guy that he couldn't stop talking for five minutes. Oh, and if he, and if he, no, on the podcast. And if he loses, okay. if he loses, he's gotta dye his beard black. And well, if he, like, now it's jet black. Well, it's like you know, like you gotta <laughs> dye it. Black, you gotta dye the gray out of it. But you Paul, know, that I, 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 no, the, the bet is I can't speak unless spoken to. Yeah. Okay. No matter what the I mean, topic is. No matter what, they gotta you actually gotta say. You gotta say, guy. Like, what you do you think? You guys are arguing, and like I really want to say something, like prove a point. I gotta bite my tongue. <laughs> All you got, you gotta just insult him, Fuad. You're gonna. This is where this is where it comes from, Paul. Everybody last week said that guy can't stop interrupting. So I said, you do interrupt. So then we started laughing about it, and I said, I said, well, I'll make you a bet. You can't talk for five minutes, and if you lose, you have to fucking dye your beard. And if you win, I'll stop dyeing my beard for two months. For two months. Yeah. And he's got to die for two months. Okay. Fair enough. I, he's got to do a jet black. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. You just said not jet black. How is jet black? No, like it's got to, it's got to match the blackest like part you, of his like beard. You, like you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like mine. Yeah. Okay. That's not a bad bet. It would look better. No, it, that's fair enough. If he's winning, anyways, I'm losing. He'll look better. I'll look worse. All right. Fine. Yeah. You got to shave your beard. No, oh, fuck that. He won't, he won't do it. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. You can't talk. <laughs> okay. 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 10 minutes. Okay. Thursday. You'll shave, you'll okay, shave your beard. Minutes. Okay. You'll, you'll shave your beard for two months. Okay. 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Bet done. In stone. Who has, who has you back back I haven't said yes yet. Too fucking bad. You said 10 minutes. I said accept. I haven't said. No, I you didn't, didn't say. Okay. 10 minutes. I, I, did, fun. I didn't say yes yet. I was saying. No, it just but you played. countered. You you threw a counter offer. No, we were talking and we're talking it out. We're talking it out. <laughs> we're talking it out right now. I'm trying to figure out where the line Paul, is. Well, was that a counter? We're negotiating. That was a counter. That wasn't I, a counter. I, I accepted, to me. Right? You you did accept Once it. Once I accept the deal's done. Yeah, I, accept, uh, I yeah, I, I think the deal's done at this point. Now, how long does Fuad got to shave his beard for? Hey, Two months or just one? You know time? what? I you forgot. I, I still got to sh- wait a minute. I still got to shave Paul's head too. Don't forget. You that. don't get to shave it. I get, I go to a barber and get it shaved. 
No, I get, get to shave it. The money. You added this to it. It wasn't you get to shave it. Okay, anybody's got to shave it. Fine. You got to shave your head. I'll go see my barber mo. He can shave okay. it for me. Paul's got to shave his head. Wow, next, just he, once. Just once. Next, he, next time, he, Nick, he's gonna come. He's gonna attack you next, Nick. Wait, wait. Next Nick, time, Paul's on. Because you know why? Because I can see the joy in his face from knowing how to shave my beard. <laughs> I so, really, I really, and, and because and the funny thing is, I was spared him when he had to shave his head. So now. Because you're showing so much joy in me losing my beard, okay, you say, I'm, Hang on, I'm cashing in. No, no, I'm cashing I in my know Exactly what we're agreeing to here. So, if guy stays quiet for ten minutes, who has got to shave? Not- I, was, I was negotiating the bet. I didn't say deal. I was negotiating the bet. Well, why'd, you, why'd you throw me in there? Are you still, is that, because is that you, like, cause you fucking piped up, and you're like, yeah, yeah, that's it, do it. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. <laughs> so you fucking. So now I got to cash in my bet on you then. That's fine. Okay, but only I got that your beard. I got, I got that shit in reserve. <laughs> yeah, I know you. I knew you're gonna keep that. So with you shaving your beard, I shave my head. Is that it? No, 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 no. Listen, Paul. You shaving yeah. your head? That's yeah. a lost bet. I don't have to do anything. You have to shave your head whenever I decide because you lost the bet. Whatever you decide. What if I got like a big event? Let's shave it now then. Get over with. Okay. Well, let's do it this weekend then. All right. Paul's gonna shave his head. That's out of the way. Yeah. Now me. <laughs> So, <laughs> it's a guy. So, you think you can be quiet for ten minutes on Thursday? Is it quiet or not interrupt anybody? Not say anything. Not a peep. If you make, a, if you make a fucking peep, ask them something. You make yeah, a peep. If you ask me a question, I, I, I have to be able to answer. I'm not, gonna ask, a, I'm not gonna ask you shit. So you just want me to go on the podcast for ten minutes and not talk and like this? Yes. While everybody talks about you, are you gonna do a run a run a timer for it? Okay. Yes. Okay. And if you lose, you have to shave your beard. Oh, you change it. <laughs> Why the fuck would I shave mine and he's have to shave his? How the because fuck is that a good bet? I gotta shave my head. Because you've been busted. Paul, oh, you diet. lost that bet is long gone. Your head has nothing to do with our beard. If you bring up shaving your head, then I'm gonna fucking smash those fucking <laughs> old glasses here. So stop it. He keeps trying to get out of his head shave. Like, I know you're nothing- shaving your head. You're gonna look like us, and it's gonna be next. To you. <laughs> anyway. So now it's the now it's so now now one of us is gonna lose our beard. Completely. Look, it was a it was a safe bet before. We we're kind of nice to each other. We we're like, just dye it, don't dye it. <laughs> now you're like, oh, you gotta shave it. So fine, you gotta shave yours then. <laughs> All right, deal. It's not for you to make the deal. <laughs> well, shut up! Stop interrupting you. I think it's fair. It's a fair. It's a fair hey, deal, guy. Ah oh, man. Okay, Take wait. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'll, I will agree to this. Hold on. What about a trim? What about a trim? We have to trim oh, it. No, no, because you know why you want to trim? Because you're afraid you're going to lose. I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah. Either all in. <laughs> Paul, all Paul, in. You're, Paul, you're not in this discussion. I'm for you, Fuad. No, no. You're not in this discussion. Hold on. I'll okay. make you do I can do 10 minutes. You can't but do 10 minutes. I, I'll do 10 minutes. But if you got if a question's asked at me, I, I have to answer it and be done. You can't just – for me, to, I listen, if you think I can sit here for 10 minutes and just call you this, I can. And no problem. But I got to be able to fucking at least, like, answer a question. If it's directed at you. That's what I just said. Like, if I if, say, if guy. on the podcast says, guy, what do you think? And yeah. I go, yeah. I agree. Does it have to be from you? Or does, what if someone else says, guy? No, yeah. because, Nick, you're going to do it just to let him talk. <laughs> so it can't be from Nick. Nick, just just, just the fact that you thought. Or Paul. Can you, you talk? Can can we, it's got to be from me because I don't trust anybody else. No, listen. Okay. Can you can you talk a boat guy? Yeah, oh yeah. You can talk. Okay. That's that's the whole point. Okay. So wait, so this is actually so you're actually gonna antagonize me to talk the entire time. Yes, that's the whole point. No, wait, okay, hold on. So if that's the case, and I want to know if Paul and Nick agree, yeah. if you're gonna actually make me not talk and antagonize me, then if I win, your law should be worse. Therefore, you should lose the beard. I should just have to die. That's the bet. No, that's not the bet. How is that not fair? <laughs> you're trying to antagonize me for 10 minutes and not talk. Because you're the one who can't talk, can't stop talking. It's your, you have to prove that we're wrong. Okay, Excuse fine. Me. 10 minutes. Okay. I, I just want you guys to realize on Thursday, that's the last, as soon as the 10 minute marks up, I'm making them, you better bring the fucking clippers next to the fucking mic. It's, it's going to be a fucking live buzzing session. I have to think about it. <laughs> I have to consider this, this bet. It's a big deal. Shaving your beard's a big deal. 
it grows back and it's 10 minutes. Yeah. And I then agreed. Then you countered with shaving your beard. I agreed again. Now you want to think about it. But you have to shave your beard too. Who? You. Done. Hmm. Well, you you know what it is? He's 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 thinking because I'm confident. And no. He's questioning. Okay. no, I'm thinking if 10 is not long enough. Bro, you started at five. <laughs> you it. You suck it. You're going to make it an hour? I'm not doing any more than that. So I'll just not show up to the podcast. <laughs> what did you say, Nick? I said, you're acting like a bitch right now. Why? You we're, negotiate, we're negotiating a deal here. He's down for the beer shaving. You got to shave it, man. Yeah, it's a fair deal for it. Is Paul going to have his head shaved by next week? Why does it matter? Now you're being a pussy. Because I was oh, to say the subject. a bitch, isn't he? I need more time to think. <laughs> I can't if, shave the beard. Are you kidding me? If guys won't shave the beard, you gotta shave the beard. First of all, a my beard's longer, better, nicer. Had it longer. No, they're not wrong on all accounts. Had it longer yeah. only. What? Had it longer? Yes, that's probably. Well, I mean, I, I shave it for the show, but I've had my beard for a fucking grown it like this for. What is your fucking point? I don't care. What's your point? My point is, you are a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Make the deal for it. It's a fair deal. It's you a fair deal. Are a girl. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Fair deal. I can't. But no, this podcast is not ending until <laughs> people get a fucking answer. So you can fucking take as much time as you want. And if you edit this part out, I want the people to see how ridiculous you are to even I'm, deal with as a human. I'm totally chopping this off right here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is gold. This is not gold. This is fucking dead, dead air. We're trying to argue a bet here. No, this is not fucking dead air. This is great content. <sighs> Gotta take it for it. Do it for it. You got to. I'll, I'll trim it to length the length of 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 Nick. No, what a fucking no. bitch! No, bro. you gotta shave the whole thing. Gotta, yeah. Who that's not gonna do it? Bro. I get to leave. Okay. A, I get to leave a goatee. No. no, no. The whole beard, man. How about no. a full man chew? You gotta shave. I get everything. to leave like no. The wait, wait, no, no, hold on. You could shave, shave this, and shave all this, and just leave this. The full. Leave a mustache. Leave a mustache only. Hmm. <laughs> or 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 we could do or we could do judge winner's choice. Fuck that. Oh. Just I don't know if this is fair. You just have to sit there and shut your mouth. And be antagonized. You know I yeah. don't like that. No yeah. one's gonna antagonize you. We're just gonna talk and you can't you're gonna have to it's hard for you to shut up, but you could probably do it just to fuck me over. <laughs> That's the point of the best. You'll do it, you'll do it just to fuck me over. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'll do it just to win. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. A long time. The whole point is to win the bet. Fuad, did you want me to accept the bet knowing I was going to lose? He'll like, just sit there. Like, like, how do you think? I need to know how good the bet's going to be. If 10 minutes is too easy. Bro, 10 minutes of not talking while you fucking knuckleheads talk shit and fucking probably you're going to make fun of me multiple occasions. Nick does it all every week. Yeah, and Nick I get talk back. Nick does 10 minutes standing on his head without talking. <laughs> he does 23 hours a day without talking. He's fine. <laughs> 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 uh, Paul, you Paul, is this, Paul, is this how he is? Like, he'll, he'll throw a bet at you and you'll accept, and then he gets nervous you accept it so fast that he thinks you're going to win, so he tries to alter the bet to make it he, more Of course. He likes to know that he's going to win before yeah, he agrees anything. I definitely like the odds in my favor. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you that. have 10 minutes, and you get to antagonize me, and my beard's better. So what are you losing? What does your beard better have any – you're such a competitive fuck all the time. What does your beard being better have to do with Well, this? I'm the competitive person. You have changed the rule three times to make it on your favor, and I'm competitive. I'm like, let's do it. It's easier for you. Why? I love Why? this game. Why? Yeah. This is just to sit there and not talk. Okay, so, okay, okay. Is there something else you want to add to this ridiculous bet that you're already fucking like hand like I'm handicapped times like 15 already? What do you want to do? All right, let's do it. I'll shave my beard. I'm doing fuck. Oh, there you go. All right, damn. All right. Oh, oh. We're, on. We're on. I don't it'll grow back in a fucking week. I don't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> I, just, I just won't do a podcast till it grows back. <laughs> 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 
I'll do the next one. I'll do the next one with a with a fucking uh, thing on a mask. A mask. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I don't give a shit. Fuck you guys. I'll just I'll do the next one with a bandana on my fucking face. (laughs) That's a good. Fuck! I don't want to shave my beard. Oh no 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 no! Sorry, bud. Yeah, I'll do it. It's fine. But I only you know the 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 saving grace will be that Paul's head will also be shaved. So can you can you insult guy? Oh yeah, I can say whatever I want. Anything. Anything. Wait, I can like I can sit there and go like this, like like I can go. <laughs> no, you can't make a noise. You said a piece. I can't, wait, you oh so, what, Paul? Did he not say <laughs> you can't talk? He did. Say I said he talk. can't make a peep. Yeah. He I can't even I, laugh. Did I say he can't make a peep? You said a peep. Wait, hold on. So if you say so, even if you make fun of me, I can't go. <laughs> no, if uh, you make a peep, you lose. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's what I said. Is that what I said? I'm gonna not Except- breathe either. Except oh. if it's like a natural bodily function, like you got a cough, you got a sneeze, something like that. Nick, did I not say make a peep? He did say make a peep. Thank you. You can't make a peep. Another fucking noise. So if you laugh, if you, if you laugh, no, you can't turn the fucking mic off. If you I'll laugh, the volume, the volume down. <laughs> if you laugh and it makes a noise, you lose. Okay, so if I laugh like this, like if I go, gotta, if my if my mouth stays shut, and I go. If I hear that, you lose. <laughs> you, should, you have to like cover your face. What the fucking anything, to, bro? You got. I, I if I. I took talk, the bet. I took the bet. I took the bet. You said you I'm a bit. Not, you said that? I was a. You I, said my mic sure can't do this. What if he has a nose whistle? <laughs> he has a nose whistle. <laughs> I can't laugh. That's not you, dude. The original bet was I can't interrupt. Then it was I can't talk. Then it was five to ten. Then it was can't make a peep. Well, I said it on a the air. Is gonna be here. I said it on the air, and they both heard me. And the people yeah. watching, people watching heard, and you agreed. But okay, but and when you say don't make a peep, that means not a fucking noise. You know, like not a- no. If somebody says don't make a peep, that means like don't don't say a word. Don't know. Don't yeah. make a noise. Peep. Don't make a noise, yeah. Don't make a peep. Okay, but you like you can't say I can't laugh. Guy okay. muffled. Nick, Nick make yeah. a noise, man. You Thank have you. to like muffle Nick, your Nick. laugh with like a shirt no. or a towel. Nick and Paul both agree with me. Listen, guy, I believe you're telling me I can't. I'm gonna lose. So you're gonna tell me I can't laugh. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. You don't laugh. You won't, you're going to want me to lose so bad, you will just sit there and be angry. Bro, you, you, don't realize make... something. you don't realize something. As much as I make fun of you guys, I think getting, like, when you guys bust my balls, no matter what it is, it's fucking hilarious. I, I, I bust balls because I can take it. Yeah, me too. So I find it funny. I like to laugh. So it's hard. Me not laughing would have been a bet I probably wouldn't have taken if it was not interrupting and not talking is one thing. Not laughing is a little very hard for me to do. Just gonna okay, have to about, laugh. You have to laugh quietly. How about yeah, you can't laugh out loud. Yeah. If it doesn't make a noise, I don't care. Yeah. Like so yeah. if I go like this, like if somebody says something, I go, <clears throat> Yeah, no. that's fine. No. That's a beep. No? That's no? a beep. Nick said okay. it's a beep. Wow. Okay. How do you have to muffle it then? Because you're gonna need like a towel or a shirt or something to muffle your Dead so. silence for ten minutes, guys. Okay. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get one of those fucking one of those ball gags. <laughs> <laughs> and if you turn if you turn your mic off if you turn your yeah. mic off you lose automatically. You don't even. Yeah. You won't know. Yes, I will. It shows me right here. Re- oh, really? To yeah. tell me. I'm gonna let my mic pause. Okay. <laughs> He's testing. It, it just went off. I see it. It's <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right. Question: Can you guys can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. hear me. Yeah. yeah. What about now? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. What about this? I can still hear yeah. you. Yeah. Vaguely. You chuckled. Yeah. I can still hear you. Yes, I heard that. Oh, you chuckled. No, I didn't hear that. <laughs> I know what he did. He turned his volume down, thinking that we wouldn't be able to hear him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a bet. Look at the, the saving grace is if we have to shave our beards, we just wear a bandana and you're fine. Yeah. You are running, running the gym anyway. 
You know, okay, hold on. We should do this. This is actually pretty cool. This is a good idea. All right, Jesus Christ. No, no, seriously, because I, I was, I made a comment about people making GoFundMe's over stupid shit. We should do a go, uh, listen, hear me out, a GoFundMe thing, and who have people bet on who they think is going to win, and do a GoFundMe, and then afterwards we we'll donate the money to like a cancer or like a St. Jude's or something like that. Yeah, but how, then we have to make two GoFundMe's. To make two go for, yeah, and both of them are going to be. Well, well, both of them will go. Ah, if, I don't want to do that you, shit. If you win, you can donate. You donate to whoever you. Because I, 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 I got a better. I got a better one. Okay. If I win, Hostile will create a shirt for you, and we will sell it and give you all of the money. Oh sure, my sponsor will love that. Well, well it won't say Hostile on it. It'll be a guy shirt. So now and you want to you want to monetize. And it. if I win. <laughs> You have, to make a shirt for me. you have to make a shirt for me. Because he's going to sell it. Hold that guy. We're selling it for 20 bucks. Hey, <laughs> for 25. Guy's not going to catch it. He's going to make $5 a shirt off. No, I don't, like yeah. go, I don't like the GoFundMe idea. Fuck it. Let's just have fun. We'll shave the beards and that's it. Fine. Okay. All right. Okay. I've had to piss for the last 45 minutes. I'm going to go now. Okay. <laughs> See you, fuckers. Okay. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Share with your friends. And like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.